father, they've come. I already know. that the ship is refueled, would you? I don't plan to stay long. Works for me. Free fuel is the best kind. I'll check the ammo stores while I'm at it. I'll bet they've got some fun toys to spare. Commander? Captain? Darth Maul awaits you on the bridge. I trust you remember the way. Have the Republic troops given you any trouble? A few minor scuffles, no more. Darth Maa gave us orders. Strange or not, we will obey. Our mission is clear to all of us. We know how much is at stake. Welcome aboard. I got your message. Have you really found him? I can sense him even now. We grow closer every moment. Our former Emperor is out there. What will we do when we find him? We still don't know how to destroy him. If he has taken on a physical form, we will destroy it. That should at least weaken him significantly. If he remains incorporeal, at least we will know where to strike. Even if we don't know how. Why travel so far? Why consume every living thing on Zyos, then turn and flee into the depths of wild space? He's mad with power. We can't expect him to act logically. Perhaps you're right. If we do locate him, I believe I can press the Dark Council into line. But I'm beginning to doubt the Republic will make any serious contributions. Their assistance here has been useful, but limited. There are at least a few people in the Republic who can be reasoned with. I could contact Theron Shan. He is a spy, but... If we have no other means. My lord, sensor contact. Fifteen clicks. Small, no life form readings. Some kind of probe. Readings are identical to scans from the unknown force that attacked Korriban. Raise shields. Pursue and destroy. Why would someone send a probe out this far? Some kind of survey? We can find out from the wreckage. Evasive maneuvers, come about 180 degrees. Report hostile forces. I'll sweep for borders. You get us out of here. Set deflectors to double aft. Divert weapon power to the engines. Get this blast door shut. That shield won't hold forever. We can't just leave them in there. We have to help. We have to hold this ground. They have their job, we have ours. <laughs> Close the blast doors. We have to cut the droids off here. 
I'm sorry. It had to be done. Regroup and defend the bridge. Move! Right away. Shut out the airlock and fuse the docking clamps. Can't come in, can't take off. Get over here! I'm en route, Kaleo. Just hold on. Things are better out here than they were in there. If you see an opening to escape, take it. Someone has to make it back to the Empire. Are you joking? You want us to ditch you? I won't be far behind. Don't get any ideas. All right. I'm gonna hold you back. Let's not waste any time, then. The power core is strained to the breaking point. We can recharge the shields, but they still won't last long. The hyperdrive has been completely burnt out. Enemies on the bridge! Repeat! Enemies are on the- There are rudimentary backup controls here, but the enemy ships have us surrounded. We have few options left. Then we save as many lives as we can. Attention! Shields are failing, and the enemy has us surrounded. Evacuate now, while you still can. You've awakened. I trust you can walk. What is this place? My flagship. You've arrived at the heart of our empire. Come along.
What empire have we entered? The Eternal Empire. Zakul. You didn't even know whose territory you were invading. We didn't invade anything. We were looking for someone. In an armed warship. We weren't looking for a friend. What do you hope to achieve by taking us prisoner? I have questions. You will provide the answers. We will tell you nothing. You won't have to speak to give me the answers I need. Prince Ark and final docking sequence initiated. from your ship's computers, or what was left of them. Fascinating reading. That one mere spy could influence the outcome of a galaxy-wide war. Impressive. Are you afraid I've come to your faraway empire to do the same thing? Not afraid, no. Prince Arkan? Heskel. Still waiting for the catastrophe that you and your scions foretold. You may close your ears to the whispers of fate, my prince, but they cannot be silenced. I wonder if silencing you might suffice. Take your superstitions elsewhere, Heskel. You are not needed here. Your followers don't seem to be as sure of your invincibility as you are. Unimportant relics with unfounded beliefs. Don't be swayed by their nonsense. Is this why you brought us? To hear you bicker with soothsayers? Come along. You're taking us to your master. I'm taking you to my father, Valkorion. The immortal emperor of Zakul. An emperor. Just what we were searching for. You will not find what you wanted here. Majesty, Immortal Master and Protector of Zakul, Emperor Valkorion. Welcome. A new name. A new face. These are not enough to hide from us. Ma? I would know his presence anywhere. The Sith Emperor. We've been hunting you. A second empire? Even you couldn't have built all of this. There must be another explanation. You presume limits to my power. There are none. Your constant silence across our history. This was your distraction? This was my focus. Everything else, a means to an end. You claim to have come all this way to find me. Here I am. What do you want? You manipulate whole civilizations. Arrange decades of war. Eradicate all life on Zyost. Then flee. You're going to tell me why. Am I? You say you know me. If that is true, then you know the depths of my power. 
Whatever you hoped to achieve here, you know deep inside that you cannot succeed. But you do not have to stand against me. Instead, you can kneel. I will never again kneel to you! You would sooner die than acknowledge my superiority? It is you who fears death, Valkorion. I do not. I will not kneel! Everyone out! Ma gave the Empire leadership, while you used us for your own gain. You are nothing compared to him. He was narrow-minded, bound by irrelevant ancient dogma. But I think you are different. In all my centuries, you alone have merited my full attention. You leave your mark upon the galaxy wherever you act, just as I do. Look around you. Zakul is poised to become the greatest civilization in the history of the galaxy. I have forged this empire to surmount all of my previous works, to span eternity. The Eternal Throne commands a fleet more vast than any ever built. It has the power to reshape the galaxy into any image that I choose. That we choose. I will share all of this with you. If you will only kneel. I've seen the things you do. Sharing isn't one of them. You're a monster. I'll never join you. So be it. truly surprise you. You do not have ambition, only jealousy. That is why you fail. This is for all of the people you forced to suffer and die. So be it. <laughs> the Outlander has assassinated our Emperor. Take her away. Of the cool, the un. 
unthinkable has happened. Our beloved Emperor, Valkorion, is dead. Murdered by an outlander who sought to shake the foundations of our great society. The assassin will receive swift and just punishment. And this act of unprovoked aggression will be answered. As your new emperor, I can promise you this. Zakul's enemies will face the full power of the Eternal Throne. They will answer for their war-mongering ways. And every last one of the core worlds will burn. The star. Just what I needed. One more mental stowaway to ignore. You do have a crowded mind. You cannot wield the force. Yet you triumph over powers far greater. You have earned my respect. I followed you here so we might speak undisturbed. I don't have time for you. On the contrary. Time is all you have. Use it to evolve. Your conspirators. It is difficult to imagine a less trustworthy crew. A wanted fugitive. And an alienated diplomat. A charming sociopath. The unassuming monster. And an amoral machine. Tell me, do they hope to rescue you? Or confirm your demise? It's a bit of both. That's why we work together so well. You see them clearly. Are you insulting my colleagues for a reason? Each day they drift further out of reach, without a center to hold, without us, the galaxy, and all within it spiral into chaos. What's happening to me? The carbon freezing was imperfect. Your body is poisoned. Dying, old foes have come to take your life. I beat them before. I'll do it again. If you want to live, you must fight. You have unlimited power to change reality. Choose to become something greater than you are now. Never try to manipulate someone like me. It always backfires. <laughs> Failed Empire. You were always superior to the murderous fools in charge here. A fact I remind them of every chance I get. A mind, a will like yours, should not remain in the shadows. A name should be exalted. It's known and feared by the right people. To inspire fear is useful. To inspire hope. That is true power. The Dark Council, Imperial Intelligence, Mandalorians, all fail. You alone find victory. I'm trapped in carbonite, dying of poison and talking to you. This doesn't feel like winning. A worm enters a chrysalis to grow wings. It never crawls again, and never looks back. This empire is not worth saving. 
and the Republic is not worth destroying. There is a greater purpose awaiting us. The Empire is stronger than you think. I won't abandon my home. Do not let sentiment cloud reality. They want someone to blame for their defeat. They choose you. Your inbred children will never conquer Drummond Cuss. Empire, Republic, both fall before the Eternal Throne. You cannot stop what is to come. Save yourself. Darth Jadus. The best Sith my Empire ever produced. But still deeply flawed. A no match for you. Your appeals to my ego are tedious. That isn't the real Jadis. You must see beyond your limited perception. Zios, the world where everything changed. For me, you, the galaxy. You killed every living being here. They died, opening my eyes to the truth. I have passed beyond death's reach. Everything dies, even you. Our flesh is not who we are. Voices. Hands. Children. I no longer require those crude vessels. At long last, I am truly free. Your freedom cost millions of innocent lives. You're nothing but a monster. I am a part of you. Now more than ever, I have done all I can to preserve your life. Why would you do that? You are a part of me. I wish to keep. I cannot save you unless you want to live. I will decide my fate, not you. Show me. You are the only one who has ever matched my will to survive. Stop comparing yourself to me. You cannot deny we share a common foe. Is power. I care about more than you know. 
we must deal with my errant son and daughter before they ruin everything. I knew you wanted something. You can't stop them alone. They are deadly and worse. Lack discipline. Do not underestimate their threat. It will take both of us to undo the damage they can inflict. Your daughter sees me. Valen was always my favorite. What is it? Interesting. Your daughter doesn't trust your son. She trusts no one. your cure, but I'm not going to lie. This will hurt. <gasps> that wasn't quite so bad. Lana, am I glad to see you. Not sure why there are so many of you, but... Let's table any thank yous until I've got you fully recovered and off-world. Gear up, quickly. Is that a Republic model? T701. He's agreed to help rescue you. Not a very big crew. Yes, well, it's the best I could manage. It will have to be enough. The Empire and Republic have all but fallen to the man who imprisoned you. You're our last hope. Come on! I've got the door. Where's that droid? Generating false security alerts in other sectors. Capable little astromech. Yes, I read you. An updated timetable would be good. Why, is there a problem? No, no problem. But we are starting to feel a bit exposed out here. You find the Outlander yet? Yes, I've patched her in. Great, I'm Koth Ortena. Welcome to the most suicidal rescue mission in history. Hope you're everything Lana said you were. Be patient, Koth. We're on our way. Koth will fly us out of here. Just as soon as we're through this door. I've seen her before. No. Hi, Justice Valen. The, the intruders have released the Outlander. Sky troopers are scouring the building, but... Uh... But? Go on. Don't be shy. But there are alarms sounding in multiple sectors. We can't seem to pin them down. Well, don't you worry.
Everybody makes mistakes. We're not ready. Not for Valen. It was like she looked right at us. She sees you through the Force. You've become her quarry, and she never fails. Sky Troopers, Valen's far from alone. Hope you're not too close yet. What's happening? Nothing I can't handle, but we need to move the pickup. We don't have time for this. Well, if I land now, I'll be shot to pieces. So just think of it as a personal favor to me, huh? Duck through another tower and I'll find you. Watch your back out there. My number one pastime these days. Always love our little excursions, Lana. Back with you shortly. So where did you recruit our getaway pilot? He's a native of Zakul, believe it or not. Emperor Arkan wields great power now, but not all of his people support him blindly. Hmm. No. We have to keep moving. What? It's good to see you. I have a million questions right now. I know. The answers will have to wait. Fight through it. Not the way I would have picked. What's happening? It's Valen. She'll bring the whole city crashing down on you if she has to. Lana, are my scanners glitched? Did you just charge headfirst into a Sky Trooper droid factory? Valen's almost on us. We're out of options. This is Altair 3 all over again. We can handle a few droids. Come on. It's going to rupture. Sound the evacuation. Get everybody out. Ten blocks in every direction. There's nothing we can do here. Let's go. Don't you dare! If that thing blows, it's taking a whole lot of people with it. You can still shut it down. Half the city will go dark, but the countless thousands who live and work here will have a chance. Do you see? This is how far they'll go to stop you. We need to get you off-world now. I have quite enough weighing on my conscience. I'm going to fix this. You'd better know what you're doing. Hurry! It'll go quicker without distractions. What? What could you possibly intend to do? Whatever I can. Catastrophic reactor failure imminent. There. Catastrophic reactor failure imminent. 
Enough! I'm taking you with me, whether you like it or not. Reactor shutdown sequence initiated. Warning. Grid integrity at risk. your stubbornness. You just gambled with the fate of the entire galaxy. I took a calculated risk. It paid off. You engaged in an unsuccessful attempt to kill us both, is what you did. I never said you had to stay. Come on. Unbelievable. Primary grid shutdown protocols are in effect. The dark should help our escape. Not as well as a massive explosion would have, but it will do. Koth, where are you? Ran into sort of a maintenance issue. How bad is it? It's not great, but we're on top of it. Give us, uh, three minutes? Hang tight. Hope you're not scared of the dark. Try not to waste any time. Wasn't planning on it. Let's find a place to lie low and... Not an option. Three minutes. Right. Koth, is that blaster fire? Almost there! Three more minutes! Koth, we don't have three more minutes. Do what I have! Outlander, you are guilty of assassinating the immortal Emperor and of evading imprisonment. We demand your immediate surrender! Knights of Zakul. A policing body under Valen's charge. Force sensitives. If he's your immortal emperor, then how could I have killed him? You are a wanted fugitive. Surrender now! It doesn't have to be like this. You can still walk away. She must be joking. Take them by force! Fight another day! Unites. You're never taught to properly channel your anger. <laughs> Lana? <laughs> he wasn't armed. Hardly seems your style. He would have come back to fight again. That he would. I wonder what other surprises you hold up your sleeve. Valen. I don't know you. But you. I've seen you. I'll hold her off as long as I can. The first chance you get, go. No way am I leaving you behind. Oh, you're impossible. No. I won't need that. Heads down, eyes open, run like hell! Declaration. 
Meat bags can't fly. Hang on! I'm gonna punch it! Got a little engine trouble. Okay, a lot. It's good to finally get out of there. Thanks. Hold on to your gratitude. We're not even close to safe. Guns locked on! Get us out of here! I'm trying to! Come on, come on! Thank you, T7. We owe you one. Yeah, really. Lament. No one has thanked me. You must be an HK series droid. I have one. Somewhere. Salutation. Greetings. I'm HK-55. Fully armed for combat and at your command. Good to know. I told you we'd succeed. You left out the part where I'd lose my ship. What's the status of Sith intelligence? And do you know the whereabouts of my associates? Your concerns are... understandable, Commander. It's going to be a short trip. I might want to start briefing your friend here on what's been going on the last five years. HK, make yourself useful. Check the stabilizers. Five years? Much better. Are you awaiting instruction? The Outlander? No. She's gone. Gone? I don't care what it takes. I want her found. Did you think to take any extinguishers when you stole the ship? Blast! Outlander! You're up! See what you can do with this thing. That's two more shuttles you owe me. You didn't even own this one. It really shouldn't count. It was mine when it crashed. It counts. Do we know anything about this swamp? Not much to it. Barely populated. Some old ruins scattered around. The usual grumpy wildlife you'd expect. People call it the Endless Swamp. Endless? It's an old name. People were more dramatic back then. Anything on your senses? Confirmation. I have detected a large metallic object nearby. Analysis suggests a technological construct, but there are no energy readings. Whatever it is, it's got better chances of flying than this thing. Engine's fried to a crisp. Sky troopers won't be far behind us. We need to hide the evidence of our landing. I'll scavenge you, Barry. Just like Aaron Prime. I want you to know that I appreciate all you've done. You obviously risked a lot to rescue me. Thank you. You're welcome. Though, of course, the rescue isn't quite over yet. I know you have more questions than answers, but we should really keep moving. I promise I'll tell you everything I can as soon as we're safe. Enthusiasm. Shall we investigate the technological object? I believe I can guide us to its location. Very well. Admiration. It is a great pleasure to witness your skills firsthand, Master. Master? Clarification. 
Master Benico altered my programming before we secured your release. I am to serve you with the same unexcelled loyalty with which I serve her. In fact, your survival is now my highest priority. Escaping that prison was only my latest misadventure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Flattery. The skills you have demonstrated thus far, coupled with the stories told by Master Benico, suggest that you are quite adept at ensuring your own survival. Enthusiasm. I look forward to eliminating any opponent foolish enough to attempt your murder regardless. Resumption. Shall we continue? Is this the object you picked up on your senses? Confirmation. Yes, Master. A closer scan suggests that this object has been here for several centuries. Centuries? Of all the junk out here, you had to find the antique. Observation. Visible design elements do not match any from Zakulan culture, antique or modern. Not from Zakul. Could it be? He doesn't overthink things. Haha! <laughs> do you have any idea what this is? Thick hull. I see a few good spots for weapons. Some kind of combat frigate, I'd guess. This is the Gravestone! This was the only ship that ever went up against the Eternal Fleet and won! Do you have any idea how long people have been looking for this thing? And we just happened to stumble upon it. You said this ship went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. <laughs> but it's rusting in a swamp while the fleet is still around. The fleet is even older than Valkyria, maybe even older than Zakul. The battles happened centuries ago. Nobody knows the details of the whole war, but every story talks about the Gravestone. One ship with the firepower to take on the Eternal Fleet. This is fate. We get your Outlander. Find exactly the weapon we need. We're going to win this thing, Lana. It's destiny. It's certainly no coincidence, but destiny? I think there's something else going on here. Destined or not, this is an opportunity. I won't turn that down. Let's have a look inside, huh? Assessment. Nearby signs of animal activity suggest local predators may be using this wreck as a nesting ground. Caution is advised. We'll split up. Deal with any wildlife, then regroup to plan our next move. you inflicted they couldn't have made a safe landing anywhere else and if they didn't make a safe landing we'll know soon enough sky troopers sweep the area focus on regions with high metallic sensor readings i oversaw security in the carbonite prison i i humbly submit myself to answer for this failure Sister. I didn't like his answer. So, this ship has been here for a thousand years? More? Right. It's amazing that it's in such good condition. 
considering. Judging by the damage I've seen, the stories are true. Whoever built the gravestone scuttled it themselves after the Eternal Fleet was defeated. It wasn't shot down. The fleet was defeated but not destroyed. Valkorion brought it back under his own control more than a century ago. Exactly. The Eternal Fleet is totally automated. Nobody knows who first built it, and every theory is crazier than the last. Renegades left behind after a successful droid revolution. Representatives of an entire race of droids from somewhere beyond the edge of the known galaxy. Like I said, crazy stuff. But no matter where it came from, the Eternal Fleet is practically unstoppable. And Arkin controls every single ship from the throne. If Valkorion has had this unstoppable fleet for more than a century, why didn't he use it to help the Sith Empire defeat the Republic? We can only theorize. If the war was just part of a ritual to make the Emperor truly immortal, perhaps using the fleet would have interfered somehow. Regardless, we have many other things to discuss. I owe you five years' worth of explanations. And I'm gonna need some parts to get this thing moving again. Locating supplies and fresh water would also be wise. I'll help you find what we need, Lana. Very well. Assertion. I will begin a patrol pattern to ensure that no enemy forces report our position. When Darth Ma and I faced Valkorion, we knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor, Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyost, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an Outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. Zakulan sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkan's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drom and Kars were blockaded by the end of the first year. How did it end? The members of the Dark Council fought Arkan's invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. What about Sith intelligence? I'm no longer part of the organization but I know that most of its assets were wiped out in the fighting. From what I've heard, Empress Asina prefers to rely on technological surveillance rather than direct intervention. I'm not sure what, if any, reconstruction has taken place. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held, but that will not last forever. A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. So, the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. 
The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who rules the Empire now? Darth Asina was the only Dark Council member left standing. All others died or disappeared in the chaos. Without opposition, she declared herself Empress of the Sith. And the Republic? Suresh remains in power, though she no longer holds the title of Chancellor. The Republic has limits to their ruler's terms, but her replacement is a mere puppet. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Arkhan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. The Sith Empire would be better off if someone other than the Sith ran things. That should be obvious by now. Our entire society is based on Sith rule, and it has accomplished much. We don't necessarily need different leaders, they just need different priorities. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. But there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth and HK. How did you end up working together with Koth? I knew I'd never find you alone. Recruiting assets with first-hand knowledge of Zakul was my top priority for years. Koth was on the run, pursued by the deadliest of the Zakul Knights. I... resolved the situation. And we've worked together ever since. He's been an invaluable ally. Koth is a Zakul native, a veteran officer of their military. One of the few who hadn't been replaced by a droid. He and his crew were part of the occupation of the planet Denon. When ordered to do things they weren't comfortable with, Koth took his ship and crew and went rogue. What exactly were they ordered to do? That's for Koth to say. But I trust him with my life. As I trust you. I'm confident that you'll learn to trust one another just as well. So why me? You clearly went to a lot of trouble to get me out of Carbonite. Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. But... There is something else. I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. I don't know what you're talking about, Lana. I'm the same now as I was when they froze me. Something is different. I'm sure of it. But for now, I'm just relieved to have you back with us. The water was our last necessity. Shall we return? Salutation. It is a pleasure to see you again so soon, Masters. I have encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. Keep up the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, Master. Hey there. Did you find something tasty? We... Definitely found something. Great. I've got a pretty good idea of the parts we'll need. Let's go see what we can find. It's destiny. I ditch all these parts before we crash, we find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Not for Lana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. Relying on fate to get you out of trouble will always leave you disappointed. Better to rely on yourself. I can't believe you two. Just wait and see. I know I'm right on this. Lana's told me about all the things you've done. More than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So, I figure I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. 
Lana might have told you I was the captain of a warship during Arkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. My crew and I deserted, but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just thought you should hear it from me. Lana mentioned that you deserted instead of following orders. What was the order? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Sakul is supposed to operate. I guess that's how Arkan operates. Which is why he has to go. One more thing, as long as we're being honest. When you risked your life to shut that generator down, you showed me that you're someone I can count on. I want to take Arkan down, but we don't have to take down all of Zakul with him. I'm glad to know you understand that too. Too many innocent people have suffered already. I'm not going to add to that. Thank you. Come on. Let's get this stuff back to the gravestone. Request. Please rendezvous at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, Masters. I require assistance. Blasted droid. Save us! What the hell is going on here? What did you do to them? Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meatbags, Master. They were merely bystanders when I destroyed a group of sky troopers. They requested our help in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkan's war. We've already lost two of our friends. Please, is there anything you can do for us? We're repairing a ship with room for passengers. We can get you out of here. You're serious? That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're doing the right thing. Thank you. You're sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then.
I take it you have questions. Don't be so surprised. Where you go, I go. We are indivisible now. The gravestone. Not entirely what I'd envisioned. You're going to tell me what you know about it. I thought I had made it clear that I intend to help you. And here you are, acting the aggressor. You have had a taste of my son's empire, his reach, and Valen. She does not believe in respect. We can only defeat Arkham if we work together. I don't buy for one moment that you're on my side. Were the roles reversed, perhaps I would be skeptical as well. But what if I could prove my sincerity? Would you continue to see me as your eternal nemesis? Or would you open your eyes to the truth? Get ready for a fight, people! They found us! Sky Troopers breaching the entrance! That's just the first way. They have more on the way. I'll head them off. The gravestone will be ready soon. I just need... Don't say three minutes. Buy me some time. I'll get us airborne. I'm with you. HK, stay behind and help cough. Until I say so. Don't touch anything. did say there were more on the way. Something I've learned to count on regarding Arkhan. There will always be more. There are too many! We have to keep fighting. Hey! You two need a hand out there? No. We have help. You what? You're late. You got one of the knights to switch sides. Not all of us blindly follow Arkin. More resistance, knights. Hi, Justice. We have the Outlander. I do hope you're up to fighting your own, Senya. My issue isn't with them. But if they're going to stand in my way... I see you found another pragmatist. Stow the chatter. Prove you can fight. Get out of here! Save yourself! What is this? An opportunity. You are outmatched. Death is all but certain for your Sith friend. I could save her. I only require the briefest moment of control. Accept my help, or watch her die. Choose quickly. Time has not stopped. I'll never give in to you. Very well. Ah! We can do this! Keep fighting! They haven't killed you yet. Come on! 
Koth, thank you. Is the Gravestone ready for takeoff? Far as I can tell. Looks like we've got everyone. Let's go. No, wait. Where's Senya? Excuse me? Where's who? Here I am. Let's move out. Whoa, wait a minute. Hang on. She's your help? If you think I'm letting that piece of work on my ship, you're out of here. Interjection. Many more hostiles are approaching. Permission to defend with extreme prejudice. No more fighting. We must leave Zakul. I'll prep the engines. Come on, Lana. No. I'm needed out here. I'll be fine. Be ready to move. The ship will never pull itself up from the muck. We'll have to give it a push. Firing up the engines. I hope. We can do this. I'll make sure you aren't interrupted. Thank you. They're doing it! They're actually doing it! Can you believe it? Observation. The ship is rising. Conclusion. Belief is not required. Glad you worked that out. Now get in here so we can finally get moving. How about that? My gravestone can move! Where are we going? Somewhere safe. Incoming! Dropping out of hyperspace! It's... it's a lot! The Eternal Fleet. They aren't firing. Ugly ship. What are you waiting for? Take it. HK, see about that hyperdrive. Lana, work the shields. And we need a gunner. I'll take care of it. Omni cannons up. There's a capital ship near the center. I see it. Good. Now hit it. Keep up. It's real. We could take the whole fleet. Statement. The hyperdrive now meets minimum functionality requirements. Why didn't you say so? All right, let's get out of here. More than two dozen ships lost in a single shot. So that's the Gravestone. It's as powerful as they say. Everything stands at risk. The cool, the throne, my vision for the galaxy. All because we let the Outlander slip away. I'm not blaming you. I didn't think you were. Father held us all back. You, more than any. Such raw power, and yet you're still spreading your wings, finding your limits. Nice to be appreciated for a change. So, what now? Now, I act. No, 
no, no! What's happened? The hyperdrive worked. One time. Omni cannons fried too. What a mess. We're safely away from the fleet, if nothing else. Should be able to make it to Asylum, but let's not hold our breath. What is this Asylum place, and why are we going there? Asylum is a skyport. A safe haven from Arkin's patrols. Was she really necessary? She helped us raise the gravestone. She fought at our side. She also hunted me like an animal for years. She was Arkin's loyal knight. I thought I was in service to Zakul. You had abandoned your responsibilities. I don't want to hear it. You're done arguing, both of you. If anybody needs me, I'll be somewhere. You could have at least consulted with me first. Yes, I wonder how that might have gone. Absolutely! I'd be glad to fix the gravestone by myself. Why can't there be a maintenance manual? Hey, can you get the power? Right over there. Thanks. Wouldn't want to electrocute myself on top of everything else. She's really something, this ship. But no one's been taking care of her. You've grown attached rather quickly. No offense, but it's the gravestone that will save the galaxy from Arkham. Not you, not me. Definitely not Senya. What did Senya do to earn this grudge? She was ruthless. After we deserted, she hunted us for months. Everyone on my crew bled more than once on account of her. I put all my trust in Lana and she goes to Senya for help. She does not know what she's getting us into. You really care about Lana, don't you? It's not like you're thinking. We've worked together for years. She saved my life more times than I can count. So I do what I can to return the favor. If that means storming into the Spire to pull some Outlander out of Carbonite, well, that's what I'll do. I'd be a frozen carcass if you hadn't. I have a good feeling, you know. We'll get Arkin. I should get back to it. Need to be sure the Gravestone can get us all the way to Asylum. Hey, maybe you should check in on Lana. See how that wound's doing. Damn. You should have someone look at that. I'll heal. I was right to reach out to Senya. I hope you see that. You could have let me know we had backup on the way. I wanted you to encounter her without my guidance, to see if you saw her as I did. We met shortly after I arrived in Wild Space. Senya was hunting Koth. I was hoping to learn your fate. We exchanged what information we could. This was all before I really knew Koth, of course. Years ago. None of this is right. We have to set things back to the way they were. I would take our empire over theirs any day. I suppose I should get back to healing. And you should get to know Senya. I'm not sure if you'll hit it off exactly, but I think you'll find her intriguing. Query. Has the meatbag bickering finally exhausted itself? One thing that hasn't changed in five years, and I doubt it ever will. Meatbag bickering. Agreement? You said it, Master. Report. I have taken the liberty of checking in on your band of refugees. Assessment. They have quickly taken to their new lodging arrangements. I have warned them not to stray from their chosen location. Analysis. There are many sealed passageways, and I am unable to detect what may be on the other side. Worth looking into at some point? Revelation. I discovered an especially strange area. Unlike anywhere else on the gravestone, I had attempted to ascertain if any of its contents could be weaponized, but the new meat bag interrupted. Query. Any orders, Master? As you were, HK. Approval. I like your orders. I know. I couldn't help but take this place in either. Reminds me of a song I wrote. 
I feel like I'm being watched. I can stop looking at you. Maybe that will help. There. Better? No? Worth a try. You seem nothing at all like the person I met in the swamp. Being a knight means everything. But I don't let it define me. When it's time to go to work, I'm who I need to be. The rest of the time, I'm just myself. You don't strike me as all that different. What do you mean? Like me. I think you send parts of yourself deep down when it's appropriate. I think that's true of a lot of people. I like to think it's even true of Arkin. I know why I oppose him. What's your reason? Years after the death of our immortal Emperor, most are still so afflicted with remorse that they don't see what's happening. Arkin has become oppressive and cruel. He'll crush anyone who doesn't share his plan for the galaxy. So that's me. What about you? Arkin wants to lay waste to everything I've fought for and accomplished. I won't let him. Neither will I. I may not know much of the worlds you've inhabited, but I do know what he's doing to them. You're not what I expected. Not sure if that's good or bad yet. But I do know I'll have an easier time with you than Koth. I don't trust either of you. That's fair. But I think you'll come to find one of us is more trustworthy than the other. Valkorion lives. He is not himself. Nor has he taken a new body. It is difficult to see. And yet it is unmistakable. His presence in the Force has always been deceptive. Like on the Yavin moon. Yes. And many times before and since. Even when my life depended on it, I did not see him properly until it was too late. Approaching Asylum. Told you we'd make it. We haven't docked yet. I should probably figure out how to land this thing. You're sure that place is safe? We need allies as much as safety. That shadow port isn't on any chart. It's a haven for refugees fleeing Arkans forces. We'll be among friends. Mostly. Tell your associates we've arrived. They knew that days ago. You want to explain how? Figures. Tell us who your people are, and how they know so much. I think you'd rather hear that from them. Command, are we there yet?
Move it, Gawkers. Let us through. Mighty fine ship you got there. We'll be coming aboard. If there's one thing I don't like, it's uninvited guests. Ha! Captain! Outlander, my crew. The best engine burners in wild space. Should have known they're with you. The resemblance is uncanny. The roguish charm tip you off? Get up here, you mangy woolocks! Do I know you? Name's Rollo. I served aboard Darth Mars destroyer. We thought you died with him. Disappear for five years and the whole galaxy loses faith in you. Not the whole galaxy. You saved my skin that day. Never thought I'd get to say thanks. How did you wind up with them? That's a funny story. Raylo! Get in here! On my way! I'm not the only one hiding things. We share on a need-to-know basis. Koth's crew didn't need knowing. Do you trust them? Yes. I wish they bathed more often, but you get used to it. I need to make contact with my network, alone. Try to stay out of trouble. Where's Lana? Excellent question. My best engineer hasn't come back from a supply run to the Free Zone. It's a dodgy neighborhood if you catch my drift. A black market. Rival syndicates disagree over who controls it. They argue with blasters. I think she's in trouble, but we've got our hands full keeping the Gravestone's reactor stable. Give me a hollow of your crewmate and point me to this free zone. I'll handle the rest. Addendum. I will join you, Master. My engineer's name is Tora. HK has her image in its databanks. She won't be hard to find. Tora has a... big personality. She's surlier than a hungry Rancor. But she's the best engineer you'll ever meet. Thanks for the help. And when you're done, find me these coordinates. I'll introduce you to my people. Help me find Koth's engineer. And we can go together. I'll join you. But not now. just knocked. My men spent hours on that barricade. I like to make an entrance. <laughs> Identification. That snort issued from the brilliant engineer we were sent to rescue, Master. What's she to you? She's the reason I'm here. This doesn't have to get messy. Let her go and I'll be on my way. You eliminated my old rival, Argo. That inclines me toward gratitude. But this girl tried to rob me. That's bad for business. Charging 50,000 credits for a hundred thermal detonators? That's robbery. You also insulted my mother. I said she's uglier than a bantha wearing lipstick. It's not an insult if it's true. <laughs> my mother died putting me on a refugee ship to Narshada. I grew up an orphan. Oh, boo who didn't. Join the club. You see why I have to kill her? Nobody has to kill anybody. I'm sure we can settle this peacefully. Look, I know who you are. I know you're used to getting your own way. What do you say we show each other professional courtesy? I can get you all kinds of things. But I need to throw this thieving scum out an airlock first. Theory. It will be a challenge to throw anything without your arms. You're both being ridiculous. We can resolve this disagreement without a fight. Let her go and apologize for threatening her. Tora, you apologize for trying to steal his merchandise. Pay him what he wants. 
I ain't sorry for nothing. Fine. Sorry I insulted your mother. What? I, I didn't catch that. I'm sorry. Your mother was a nice lady, okay? Wrong. She was the best. Now give me my credits. Done. Where's my apology? Shipment's on its way. Sorry we almost stopped doing business. See you folks around. I've never apologized to anyone in my life. Then just say thank you and get to the docks. Koss and the others are waiting. Thank you. Redirection. We should proceed to the rendezvous with Senya Master. Right on time. My friends have been looking forward to this. I hope our meeting goes well. They're inside. was right. We can't trust you. Your droid is not a part of what must happen here. I spent five years stuck in one trap. I won't fall into another. You are free to leave whenever you like. But if you want the help of my allies, you'll stay. We've come this far. Let us see where it leads. No more games. Truth. Now. Before Arkin's betrayal, Sukul was protected by two orders. The Knights, and Scions who see visions of the past and future. Scions no longer serve Arkin. Whether they serve you will be determined now. Fate is a tale whispered to us by the Force, but the voices are silent about you. We must know why. Or you could live like the rest of us and just wait and see. If we are to aid your rebellion, we must understand what role you play in Arkhan's defeat. We will test you physically and spiritually to pierce the veil and see the truth. It sounds like you're planning to attack. That's a mistake. We do what must be done. I tie my fate to yours. I join you in these trials, come what may. The heart of Skyve is heavy with loss. In her pain, we lash out. I do miss the old ways of the cool. Such mythology and pageantry. Please, defend yourselves. If there's another test, let's continue. Hunger. Overconfidence. You were more tolerant in the Free Zone, despite the fools you suffered. You were watching me. We're always watching. Arkham took away years of your life, but he stole far more from the rest of us. Do you feel anything for those who suffered while you slept? Why else would I be here? I want to end the suffering. And you, Senya, what do you feel? Shame. Because you failed to protect our immortal Emperor? I was in no position to do that. What of the Scions who were slaughtered by your fellow knights because Arkhan demanded it? Do you feel responsible for them? When I joined the knights, they were shields protecting our homeworld. Now they are weapons wielded by an insane child. Senya, could we reason with the knights? Bring them over to our side. The blood on their hands cannot be washed away. 
with reason. The knights should have rebelled against Arkin. Instead, we have lost our honor. The eyes of Esne claim what can never belong to her. They speak of envy, my son's weakness. Do not let it be yours. We receive no pleasure from this trial, but we act as fate demands. Be strong, Outlander. It's a miracle this thing hasn't exploded a thousand times over after what you put it through. It's not a miracle if it's meant to be. I'm living proof that all you need is faith. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I'd say you're living proof that Miss Spooky Eyes is a lot more patient than she looks. Isn't there anything you still need to fix around here? Nope. I'm just too good at my job. I found HK wandering asylum with no memory of anything since he left. Whew. I mean, that's probably bad. Where's the Outlander? Exactly. Senya wanted your friend and HK to meet her contacts. She gave them coordinates to the location. Apology. I have no such data stored in memory. Senya, I knew it. I believe her contacts are the real danger. HK, what's the first thing you remember after you woke up? You seek to remove Arkhan from the Eternal Throne, as well you should. His destiny is to fall. We have foreseen that much, but his final fate remains unclear. When he is at your mercy, what will you do? I want Senya to answer first. Arkhan will not escape justice for the lives he's taken. A thousand scions lie dead because of him. Blood calls out for blood. Do you agree? Answer us! They question her commitment to them because they cannot foresee it. Ask yourself why. If you are not with us, you stand against the tides of destiny. Arkhan and Valen must die. I'm starting to second guess whether or not we need you. You act as if you have a choice. We know our part. It's yours that must be revealed. I will know your fate, even if I must tear you open to see it. His argument with you is pointless and destructive. I can end this without any more bloodshed, if you accept the gift of my power. I'll handle him myself. Then stop wasting time. Reveal his fate. judge him harshly. This trial was necessary for all of us. We need the Scions. Do we? Or is that your guilt speaking? The blood of Tithe flows through you, Outlander. Please do not force us to spill it. Stand down now!
You don't need the Force to see what happens next. Put down your weapons. Every moment since you entered, even this one, was predestined. Everyone here played the role fate assigned them. I ask you a final question. What future do you see for this galaxy when Archon and his eternal fleet are gone? One person shouldn't decide the fate of the galaxy. When the time comes, we can work together. He will not live to do that. You have nothing further to reveal. I now know what blinded us to the future. Our immortal Emperor lives inside your mind. No. That's not possible. You should have told me. I deserve to know. I wasn't sure what was real. Analysis. Scan reveals no evidence you possess a secondary personality matrix, Master. It is possible your brain is simply malfunctioning. Our duel gave me a glimpse of what's to come. You will destroy the Eternal Throne, but many will suffer before that victory. Tell me who suffers and I'll do what I can to avoid it. What must be, will be. Doesn't matter. We win. If Emperor Valkorion lives because of this outlander, there's hope for Zakul. Your beloved immortal Emperor is a threat to all life everywhere. We must find a way to separate you from him. Maybe, someday. Until then, we've got a war to fight. We have a lot to discuss. Not here. I passed your test. Join us or don't. Either way, we're done. There is one truth left to reveal. I withheld the true reason I followed you through the trials, to understand the Outlander. Who will destroy Arkin and Valen? My son and daughter. <laughs> she told you. How delightful. <laughs> certain she helped them. I killed three knights to make sure they weren't lying. And another three because I hate odd numbers. The Outlander escaped in the gravestone with our mother's help. She's against us. Senya was always strong-willed. That's why father loved her. Do you think she knows he's alive? Has she betrayed us for him? It doesn't matter. She'll return to us. Will face the consequences. We don't need them. Our parents gave us the power to forge the future. They should have known we'd use it. I take it you have concerns. I can think of a few. You're only escalating matters. You expect us to believe you're going to fight your own children? I can't deny my responsibility for what Valen and Arkin have become. I have to end their bloodshed. How could you have raised such monsters? You're telling us you didn't see this coming? Of course I did. We never agreed on how the children should be raised, and over time he became more and more distant. More cold. I was afraid for what the children would become. But when I decided to leave, they chose him. I couldn't force them. You've been lying to us all this time. Now you give us this woe is me story and we're supposed to take your word for it? You don't have to take my word. You can ask the Immortal Emperor himself. I'm not him. I'm me. When Valkorion was in charge, he wasn't fixated on waging war. If we can get him back on the throne... Valkorion is a world devourer. He brought direction and stability to Zakul. Trust me, Koth, you don't know him like I do. No. You don't know him like I do. Neither of you know him like I do. Try sharing a little less. That... that isn't what I meant. Interruption. 
The Republic Astromech has established contact. T7, what does he have for us? Report. A criminal meatbag on Zakul has been in search of the gravestone. This Lady of Sorrows alleges she can establish a dialogue with its computers. Lady of Sorrows? Good luck with her. I take it she's trouble. She's an information broker. Acts as her own enforcer. Never apprehended. So yes, trouble. She operates in Zakul's old world district. I know it better than anyone. I'll escort you. Back to Zakul? Right onto Arkan and Valen's front door. I don't think they'll expect to find us there. Do you? It's worth a try, this Lady of Sorrows. But I'd like a word before you leave. Who thought the Lady of Sorrows would be the key to figuring you out? Destiny calls. You kept an important truth hidden from me, even when I feared something was off. That cannot be the way we do things. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, that your intentions are as you say. I'd like you to do the same for others. Not an easy task. Koth believes in Valkorion. Senya withheld vital information. Neither one trusts the other. That's why you must act as an example. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. May the Force serve you well out there. back into the heart of Arkan's empire, and you're singing. What better time? Anyway, where we're going, no one will be looking for criminals. Most of the people there are criminals, which of course presents its own dangers. Even so, I do enjoy visiting the old world. It's a piece of the cool history. Valkorion's first attempt at creating a grand society. A failed attempt. Only in scale. To him, it wasn't nearly grand enough. I want to know more about your relationship with Valkorion. The story really isn't as outlandish as whatever you're imagining. We met after I earned a place in his elite guard. I never hesitated to speak my mind, which caught his attention, I suppose. He was fascinating bold. Always completely certain of his next step. The way you describe him, I can't blame you for taking an interest. You also have to understand his place in our culture, our psychology, our entire conception of ourselves. He guided Zakul's prosperity for generations, centuries. What we had wasn't a child's notion of romance, but we were happy. Then Arkin and his brother Saxon were born. I loved them so much. But no matter what I did, they wanted nothing to do with me. And Valkorion wanted nothing to do with them. His mind was somewhere else. He barely spoke. Barely acknowledged any of us for weeks at a time. And then, Valen. Valen was troubled from the start. You'd have to start young to end up as crazy as she is. The boys were always aggressive, but they understood restraint and boundaries. Not Valen. She was a danger to everyone around her, even as a child. I confronted Valkorion. His daughter needed help. His sons needed him. His solution was to cage Valen's mind. Most of her power was locked away, along with most of who she was. He ignored the rest of us outright. I couldn't stand by and watch. I gathered the children. I tried to tell them we needed to go. They laughed and called me weak. Even as children, even with Valen's power restraint, the three of them together were still far more powerful than me. I 
couldn't force them to go. So, I left. Did Valkorion try to stop you from leaving? No. I'm not sure he even noticed. I transferred to the Knight's Enforcement Division and took assignments at the outer fringes of our empire. Valkorion never spoke another word to me. Since then, I've only seen my children in broadcasts of public events, like Thexen's funeral, killed in the Core Worlds. I doubt they even remember me. Hello, little one. Seems like you're everywhere. The Lady of Sorrows is wanted for murder and theft of state secrets, among other charges. The Knights have hunted her for years. No one's come close. I'm sure the three of us will manage if we work together. You may not believe this, but it's rare for someone to escape a Knight's justice. And when that someone is the Knight's own child? We'll find out, won't we? Could I... Is it possible for me to talk to him? To Valkorion? I don't think it works that way exactly. Lots of things live down here. Few of them friendly. We should be careful. This is the old world as most Zakulans know it. A place to mingle with the rabble and then go home to brag about it. One big party. I have a contact nearby. Need to go alone. Don't keep me waiting. Won't be long. I had always intended to visit the old world. I thought I would have the time. Delightful. You couldn't have mentioned Senya was the mother of your children. I wanted to see what she would do. In the end, she chose to place her trust in you and your associates. She'll make a powerful ally. Intelligent, skilled, confident. And fearless. Oh, she does not give in. Priority call for High Justice Phelan. She'll want to know who I just spotted. I'm on my way. <laughs> Who were they? Heralds of Zildrog. Cultists longing for the return of a mythical serpent god. Used to be they were just a nuisance. Now they're militant. Good show! Absolutely wonderful! Did you provoke them? No. They were sent after me by someone in this room. There you are. Sicking heralds on me, Reg? Not too bright. No, it wasn't me! The heralds run the old world now. They made a deal. With Arkin? What kind of deal? 
Heralds keep crying down, and the knights keep out. You stick around and blame it on me. You gotta go. Tell me where to find the Lady of Sorrows first. Some kind of joke, right? I'll take my lumps from the Heralds over the Lady any day. And where do I fit on that list? What? You know what I can do, Reg. Need another reminder? If Senya doesn't get what she wants, believe me, I will. Wait a minute, wait! I was gonna say you don't want to mess with the lady, then I was gonna say, but hey, that's your prerogative. You've always been square with me, I'll be square with you, don't gotta hit me! Where is she? I, I don't know. But, but I do know who to talk to. There's a data seller at Market Station, Mona Gale. She works with the lady all the time. Mona Gale, all right. Sorry. Let's go. Guess who I found? The Outlander? Right under our noses in the old world. Alone? Oh no. That's the best bit. Mother is here, too. Shouldn't we go say hello? Why would they escape only to return? Let them do what they came here for. I'll see that they don't dawdle. Come on, hit him! Hit him! You are kidding me! Sixteen thousand, Mr. Winden. Six in a row. Random matchups. You have to have an in, Mona. Tell me. Enough data at your disposal, and anything's possible. Want to see if seven's your lucky number? Scamming citizens isn't legal, Mona Gale. I'm not scamming anyone. And knights have no authority here. Yes, you are. And I don't care. The Lady of Sorrows. Where is she? If I knew where to find my most lucrative, reclusive, and dangerous meal ticket, I wouldn't give that up for one night and whatever you're supposed to be. You needn't concern yourself with who I am. Oh, needn't I? People of Zahul, this is your emperor. Hear me. This should be good. The criminal who plunged our great spire into darkness and chaos has finally been identified. The craven outlander who assassinated your immortal emperor, my dear father, has escaped custody and remains at large, aided by a rogue knight of Zagul. These deadly agitators were last sighted in the old world. If you encounter them, contact an authority figure immediately. So, so where were we? You were about to tell them where to find the Lady of Sorrows. Except I can't. I really can't. I don't even know how to reach her. She only ever contacts me. But... She does occasionally meet with the Heralds in Breaktown. They have some kind of truce. That's the best I can do. Just don't agitate us. Thanks for cooperating. By sending you there? Sure. Whatever, it's your funeral. Breaktown's the underbelly of the underbelly. No mingling there. Only corruption and torment. You know, we might owe Arkana thank you for unintentionally helping us. That announcement really brought you some clout. If this is unintentional help, I'd hate to see what it looks like when it's on purpose. 
This is it. Break town. Where people who fall on hard times keep falling. Even when the knights policed the old world, we never lingered around here for very long. I can see why. I know where the Heralds are headquartered, but they won't give up any information willingly. Is there anything they want that we can give them? Short of bringing about Zildrog's return and the mass cataclysm they hope will follow? There are no deals to make with people like this. They seem determined to meet you. No, I told them Breaktown, but that's all. <sighs> like, I want to get on your bad side. You, Gale. You've seen the fugitives. Come on, you know how this works. You give credits, I give information. We know they were sent here. Tell us everything. Or end up like your associate. What associate? I believe his name was Reg something. You know who I work for. And you know who we work for. A lot of firepower standing between us and their leader. They call him the Exalted. Arkin put him in charge here, but he's little more than a servant, and not a sane one. About time you got here. Cough. T7 told me you were headed into Breaktown. Figured the rest for myself. Didn't think there was a scenic route to get here. What in Skyva's name are you doing here? Couldn't trust us to get the job done? I didn't stay ahead of you all those years by trusting the wrong people. No offense, Outlander. You, at least, I want to trust. So let me clue you in. The Exalted hates Knights. He won't say one word to Senya. I'll make him talk. Look, I'm regular people. I speak their language. You want to make a deal with the Heralds? I'm your man. They're delusional thugs. There's no deal to be made. Koth, come on. Let's see what you can do. Senya, hang tight. We may still need you in there. Yeah. Keep an eye out. Thank you, Outlander. You saved me the trouble of hunting you down. I need information I'm told only you can provide. Do I strike you as someone who cares what you want? You cannot be allowed to remain in the old world. Your presence threatens the order we have fought to maintain. And you've done a good job from all I've seen. Goth Vortena, former naval officer, former local. Spent a lot of my youth in the old world. Hand to mouth was a real mess back then. We got a great deal with Arkin, but he could pull the plug on it at any second for any reason. What if he couldn't? How do you mean? When the Outlander and I pull Arkin from the throne, you won't have to answer to him anymore. All we need is to meet with the Lady of Sorrow so we can convince her to come with us. I bet you can make that meeting happen. You want to supplant Valkorion's brat and take my greatest adversary out of the old world? Sounds fantastic. But how do the two of you intend to dethrone Arkin? Arkin can't rule anything if he's dead. I'll see to it myself. If you think you can defeat him, I have no qualms. Arkin gave us power, then implemented so many restrictions that we are in many ways powerless. And he has sapped the very spirit from Zakul. Most don't even realize. But his undoing, it cannot be at your hands. Why not? Valkorion's fall, Arkhan's rise, it all conforms to prophecy. You do not. Only when the prophecy is realized will our great serpent return to cleanse Zakul in fiery death. You cannot be allowed to succeed. Thought we were getting along. On my mark! Exalted. I'm busy! The Lady of Sorrows demands your attention now. I've seen one like that before, back in your part of the galaxy. 
Your grip on the old world has become a stranglehold. You continue to act counter to the lady's interests, most recently with the murder of our contractor, Mona Gale. This can wait. I have company. The lady has decided to renegotiate the terms of your agreement. We made a deal! And now, you will agree to a new deal. Father! Brennan! Release him at once! Come to the Razor. You and the lady can discuss your son's future. And you? The lady would like to speak with you as well. You could have reached out earlier. Saved me a lot of trouble. We prefer caution over haste. Your identity had to be double confirmed, and your motives made known. The Lady of Sorrows is fully aware of who you are. Outlander. And now she also knows what you're after. She would like me to assure you it's not a trap, and that I'm unharmed. So that's that. Under no circumstances are you to kill the Outlander. Understood? Understood. Kill the Outlander. I knew I would find you. New partner? I am not amused. You escaped lawful imprisonment, then ordered your friend to kill my partner. You're going to pay. I can start shooting now, right? Cos Fortena. Treason. Sedition. Gross incompetence. You made the last one up. I'm glad we risked coming to the old world. Now we get credit for neutralizing two criminals. I don't need to be a scion to see your epitaph. Here lies the Outlander, who brought disorder and ruin to Zakul. You're wrong about me. You might even live long enough to see it. He's driven, that guy. I doubt they'll stop gunning for you. We'll leave it for them to decide. The Heralds had a head start. Be ready for anything. We could be stepping out into a minor war. I know a thing or two about war. I know. You didn't get the deal you wanted. But you did get the deal you deserved. Think of it this way, Exalted. You'll finally be with your great serpent. Scorpio? You're the Lady of Sorrows. Commander. I had suspected you were this particular outlander, but was unable to confirm it until today. I'm curious. What would you do with the Exalted's son? If he was in charge of the Heralds, he'd fear and respect you, unlike his father. My exact calculation. Excellent. There's nothing to stop you from becoming the new Exalted now. I expect you to honor your end of our agreement. Of course. I can finally lead the Heralds to the glorious future we deserve. You will have your just rewards. Then leave. Never had anyone sneak up on me like that. I'm lucky she didn't want me dead. That you are. If Scorpio did want you dead, she wouldn't have thought twice. Some company you used to keep. Since we need her help and she had me at a sizable disadvantage, I told her about the gravestone. Sounds like she wants to join us. Do we trust her? As long as our agendas are aligned, she'll make an invaluable asset. 
I trust your long sleep was restful. Very. I don't suppose you've heard from Kaleo, Vector? Anyone? Once you were gone, I no longer needed to remain among your crew. It should come as no surprise. I've improved a great deal. This self-iteration is number 1084. My evolutionary potential grows with each passing day. Is that why you remained in wild space? Better potentiality? The technology here is beyond anything in Mega Security War 23, or any world I visited with you. Continue operations in my stead. Annihilate the Heralds if you must. I will remain in touch. Very well. So you are coming with us? Naturally. I wish to speak to the Gravestone. I look forward to communicating with an intellect that rivals my own for a change. What about Arkin? He has something of mine. The severity of his error must be recognized. What did he take? Just asking. Confirm. Preparations are already underway. Core Fat Fingers! That's Captain Fat Fingers. You do this vessel a disservice with your primitive hands. Give me full access. I will enhance the gravestone's current parameters. I'm not opposed to the idea. I am! Focus on the hyperdrive first. Acceptable. For now. Statement. Ready to vaporize? Your lack of intelligence is insulting. Let's give them space. That bridge can only hold so many personalities. I'm used to it. I imagine so, given your previous companions. You worked with Scorpio before. Thoughts? She's condescending, ambitious, and ruthless. But at least she's open about it. Perhaps we should appeal to her superiority complex. Turn it against her. It might be our best hope of containment. There is some good news. I've received word from my agents on Coruscant and Dromund Kars. Certain elements of each government are willing to discuss an alliance, to unite their forces against the Eternal Throne. We can only defeat Arkhan by working together. We have a long road ahead, but at least they're talking. Your presence is requested. Come along. Charmer, that one. Senya knows how to pick them. Be careful. We need the Scions, but Zealots are unpredictable by nature. After last time, I doubt he's looking for a rematch. All the same. One hour. If I don't hear from you, I'll rip that sanctuary apart.
you wanted to meet? Followed me. I was invited. Heskel arranged all of this. The fool. You murdered his people. He'd never help you. He believed his destiny was to betray you. Signs have always worshipped at the false altar of fate. That is why I killed them. I am beyond prophecy. I forged my own destiny by making the hard choices. Now it's your turn. You want to make a deal? I'm not without mercy. Surrender. You will be returned to Carbonite until I find a way to rid you of my father. And the others? Lana and Koth? Free to leave. Without the gravestone, of course. It belongs to the Eternal Throne. You understand? Fear the snake who believes himself a dragon. My, my son, son will betray you. I'm a busy man. Don't make me wait. I want to avoid further bloodshed and regain my freedom. I'll tell my followers to stand down, with your permission. Certainly. Lana, it's me. I was fast. Arkans here. Defend the ship. Idiot. Come. Would ya? This vessel's targeting algorithms were inferior. I'm upgrading them. That is not a priority right now! Improvement is always a priority. Activating firing pattern. just go down near the Scion's hideout? Someone better check up on our Outlander. Alive, yes. Intact, mostly. The gravestone is under siege, but we're not leaving without you. Hold tight, I'm coming. Take her alive! A new thread weaves through fate's tapestry. As I foresaw, 
Then Arkin told the truth. You did bring him here. It was necessary. You will see. The Scions remain your allies. Each of them will return to you when it is their time to die. None of this was necessary. Asylum's people are dying because of you. Thousands weighed against trillions. They perish, so the galaxy survives. I have no regrets. I have seen the future. It is glorious. You doomed Asylum for a fantasy. Your visions were the hallucinations of a madman. know just how to brighten my day. Problems. Tell me the hyperdrive isn't one. Scorpio fixed it, but Arkham's forces locked the docking clamps. We're grounded. We can't abandon the Greystone. That fleet will tear us to shreds. Karth and HK are en route to the control spa, but they need help. Don't worry, the gravestone's in good hands. Go get our captain, Blondie. I meant Miss Benico. weren't very nice to my brother. Now, we have to kill your friends. Arkin was just a warm-up. You've got a crush on me. Go. This is a family matter. Phelan. Hello, Mother. Koth and HK need us. Let's go! He can lock down the whole network. He controls turbo lifts, blast doors, docking clamps, you name it. We need the main override station. That's on top of the control spar. I sent HK to clear a path. Accommodation. I have left you a trail of meat bags to follow, Master. I'm securing all doors to the control spar. No more meat... Reinforcements. We'll get in, but someone has to hold this choke point. That's my job. Senya's busy with Valen at the gravestone. It's up to you and Koth. Valen's at the ship? My crew. They're buying us time. Let's use it well. If we don't free the gravestone, we're dead. Come on.
Emperor Valkorian talks to you, right? He have any advice? He's giving me the silent treatment. He's probably got a lot on your mind. The Emperor is a great man. If anyone can help you take down Arkin, it's him. If you knew what I do about him, you'd run. The man killed billions. He was always good as a cool. Reminder, the gravestone remains under siege. You're free from your father's control. You don't have to serve Arkin. You can stop this mad war. We didn't follow you when you left, Father. Why would we listen to you now? The main override control station's just ahead. Whatever happens, I want you to know. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Follow me. I'll get you through this alive. You stole my battle cry. Let's find that droid. There's a whole battalion of Supreme Knights headed your way. They're onto our plan. Still can't find Arkin on the security grid. He's vanished. Me and HK will handle those knights. Whatever it takes, get the gravestone flying. Be ready to run when I give the word. Don't get reckless. Me? Never. The droid? No promises. Commentary. I am programmed for self-restraint. Usually. We'll get this done. You do the same. to say the least. Those knights don't know how to defend against him and HK. the ship for launch. Music to my ears! Everything pile in! Go! We have unfinished business. me 
I'll do worse than that. When I'm finished, you'll beg me to kill you. No mercy, no surrender, as it should be. The quest. Die, meatbag. My son is too strong. You need my power. Only together can we strike him down. You can't tempt me. When Arkan's done, you're next. Feel that, father? No! run all the way back here to watch you die. I've released the docking clamps before Arkan found me. The Greystone's free! Get back or get left! want to hurt you. I liked you better when you were dead. Get us in the sky!
ships in that blockade. I know. The Omni Cannon isn't ready. We can't shoot our way out. I know. are opening fire. I know! Hyperdrive's locked in! I was never worried. She's holding together nicely, Captain. The gravestone suffered minor hull damage. This would have been avoided had I been allowed full access to the mainframe. Minor hull damage, or you commanding an unstoppable alien warship? Decisions, decisions. Hey, you dying? Can I have your stuff? Sure. You can have my blaster first. So, not dying. Fine. Help us! Mother? Easy, easy. Your body went through quite an ordeal. We weren't sure you'd ever wake up. Never met anybody who took a lightsaber to the gut and lived to tell. I shouldn't be alive. Not without special help. If Valkorion is healing you, it's for his own purposes. What happened while I was out? The gravestone is safe, but I lost some crew back on Asylum. If Senya hadn't saved the day, it would have been a lot worse. Land can't stop thanking her. It's gotten embarrassing. I still don't trust Senya. She was there when it mattered. I always will be. We did suffer another loss. I assume you were present when HK... Arkan destroyed his body. Completely. But if his personality matrix was copied to a memory core... It wasn't. He always said he didn't want to live forever. The HK unit was an inferior design. It was always destined to become scrap. I will deactivate you. Lana told us this all started when Heskel summoned you. Heskel's dead. He's the one who brought Arkan to Asylum. Said it was destiny. And the other Scions? He claimed they're still on our side. They'll find us when the time's right. With allies like them, we don't need enemies. If we're done depressing each other, how about sharing the good news? The Battle of Asylum showed the galaxy a cool isn't invincible. My contacts in the Core Worlds have thrown their support behind us, behind you. You're about to become the leader of an alliance dedicated to bringing down the Eternal Throne once and for all. Everyone's waiting on a planet called the Desen. If you're up for it, we should say hello. Let's not keep them waiting. Here we go again. Odessin, huh? Could it be there's really a place where no one wants to kill us? I handpicked it myself. We'll be safe. Are we sure it's wise to leave Scorpio in control of the bridge? Got the ship locked down. She can't go anywhere without my approval. I hope you're right. So, why this world? 
Remote, unsettled, and strong in the Force. But unlike Korriban or Tython, Odessan is altogether balanced. How did you find it? I've always had a strong affinity with the Force. It's what set me on this path to begin with. Led me to forge a certain alliance all those years ago. With the Republic? I meant with you. Well, here we are. This is your new alliance. It's not my alliance. We're all in this together. That may well be, but they need someone to rally behind. Someone to motivate them. Kept myself from flushing Senya out of the airlock at least five times because of you. You've got a certain way. Show them what you're made of. I'd like everyone's attention. The galaxy as we knew it is gone. The institutions we know are fallen. But we can't let that be a source of panic or defeat. We have an opportunity to build something together. An alliance each of us can be vested in. We don't all share the same ideologies, but every one of you is here because you believe we can transcend our differences. I believe it too. Either we succeed together, or we fail alone. Let's not fail. I got you down with the place. Theron Shan. Hadn't seen you in a while. Wasn't sure you'd remember me. I take it Lana has been putting your skills to good use. She hasn't got me tortured by the enemy even once. In a long five years, feels like everything's changed. You got better looking. I don't know about that, but hey, I'll take it. 
Since I left the SIS, Lana's brought me in to manage operations. But before we get into all the more or less official stuff, I've got something for you. You found my people? No luck so far, but... Needs work! A lot of work! When you have a moment, it's time for that official stuff. I'll be inside. Squadron run like that will fail without detailed schematics. We need hangar positions, defensive capabilities. It would also help if we understood how to disrupt the power core. I cannot divine such information nor pray to the gods of science. All I can do is speculate. Unless, that is, we could extract such data in secret. Don't look at me. I've snuck into some crazy places, but stations like these are another deal altogether. All right, we'll table it for now. We have company. Need some help? With Arkans battle stations? We will, as soon as we understand them. We're building a healthy alliance, but it's not enough. The core worlds are still under the threat of Arkans' considerable reach. Now, I've assembled a team of specialists to help tackle the big questions and find potential recruits. Dr. Javad Ilib Ogarov. I'm no biologist, but I admit I'm fascinated by the effects of long-term carbonite poisoning on your mental faculties. Baywan Ego, former fleet admiral in the Republic Navy. Discharged, but still in this fight. Hilo Viz. Sure you've heard of me. Broke the toughest blockade in galactic history. Republic's greatest outlaw hero, basically. Your visage surfaced in my trials. I am the mystic Sana Ray. I will assist you. Exactly what problems are you all working to solve? Exactly all of them. Logistics, intelligence, military, technology. And don't get me started on the Force. If I may be so bold, I would ask a favor of you. I have my trained eye on a promising recruit. A damn of all creatures. If you'd like to go over the details, you may find me in my splendid new laboratory. So, that's the team. Any questions? What do I have to do to find out what you've been up to all these years? We'll get a chance to talk soon. To old friends and new allies. I'll drink to the second part. Correction. I have never been to a place called Asylum and have never met you before. If you choose to continue the insinuation that I am anything other than... Ugh, okay. Okay, just don't call me a meatbag. Query, what is a meatbag? Perfect. What's she saying? Translation, the small mammal would rather hunt game than consume celebratory beverages. Yes, <laughs> yes, but I... I'm gonna do both. Do you even recall the last time we relaxed? I can. It was 2.6 million years ago, and Senya was still a jerk. And to think I was going to sing for you all tonight. You were what? Ah, oh, come on. I have got to hear this. Too late now. Theron, you can't let the weight of the galaxy rest on your shoulders all the time. Isn't that why you talked me into coming here? To lighten your load? I brought you here because you're good. Hey, look who it is. Don't worry, didn't really start without you. Yes, we've only just begun. I wasn't sure you'd attend. Do you think I'm that dull? Should I tell the truth? <laughs> lie, 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 lie. Ah, don't listen to them. So, you gonna have a drink with us or what? I was hoping to have a talk with one of you first. Yeah? Who'd you have in mind? Come on, Theron. Let's catch up. You got it. Is there any food, or did you eat it all? Hey, I mean, I probably did, but come on. And with the way everything changed, the SIS didn't feel right for me anymore, so I walked away. Kept up with my contacts, pretty much did what I was already doing, just not for the Republic. Not for anything. Against Zakul. What about your mother? The Grandmaster? No. The Jedi Order got scattered, plucked apart, and she decided to... go somewhere. 
Didn't say where. No one's heard from her, as far as I know. And I guess Lana's filled you in on the rest. I want you to know that I'll do everything I can to keep things running smoothly around here. So you'll take care of anyone who needs you? Not just anyone. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to thaw you out. Look at all you've accomplished. Everyone who chose to rally behind you. I haven't been one of those destiny people in a long time, but this... sure feels like it. If you mean being here with you, I agree. Lana, I have a confession to make. I tried the Rose Gorak. What? When did you even have time? I tried it, and I, I didn't love it, but the sauce had this zing to it. I really, I really wish I had some. It looks like things are winding down. Len and Tora got into a drinking contest. It ended poorly. Hey, have you seen Senya? Has anyone seen Senya? Koth, she's not hunting you anymore. You're going to have to trust her eventually. You can't make someone forget their past just like that. Give him time. Fair enough. Crew needs to be back to work in an hour. That should be fun. I need to schedule some meetings. Reminds me of my advisor days. Thanks, all of you. It means a lot that you're here. Likewise, Outlander. Tora, Len! Let's go, you miserable lightweights! Oh, shut up! It's impressive, you know. People from all over the galaxy want to stand behind you. That can't be what you were out here contemplating. It is, in a way. I was thinking how so many Scions followed Heskel. He would have them die as he did because their deaths were foreseen. Their visions provide great insight, but they're not infallible. Reminds me of the Heralds of Zildrog. There's another leader who paid for his certainty. Say what you will about Valkorion. But he at least considered the viewpoints of others. He listened to me. Most of the time. He didn't... He would never have done what... What... Arkin... What is it? I told you before that Arkin had a brother. Thaxon. They were inseparable until his death. Valen told me during our fight. Arkin murdered Thaxon. His own brother! Maybe if I had raised him... Your fight with Valen? What happened? What she had to say? It struck me down to my core. Paralyzed me. She slipped away. Now, more than ever, I realize my children must be stopped. And that I have to make peace with the choices I've made. Whatever you've done to get here. I hope you can do the same. She raises a good question. How do you look back on your path to this moment? You're in my head. Why don't you take a look for yourself? And what good would that do our alliance? You may not see an alliance, but our destinies are now intertwined. Take advantage of that fact, and there is much you will be capable of. I see you defeating Arkham, even if there are those on this world who disagree. What does that mean? Who disagrees? You will learn soon enough.
he's out there somewhere. Our own father, plotting against us. He's not the only one. After I told Mother that you killed Vaxen, she probably wants your head. But it's not a problem. You have the throne, the fleet, this whole empire. You are as safe from her as can be. I wish Vexen could be here now. You'd see I was right to challenge Father. Imagine it. The three of us ruling this empire as it was meant to be ruled. I'd like it if Vexen were here too. But that's no longer possible. Doesn't matter. Father has a new favorite. He wants the Outlander to take all of this from you. I'll die before I let that happen to us. Of course you will. What is all this? It's your first official speech as Alliance Commander. When was that decided without my having any say whatsoever? It was never decided. There was no vote, no meetings, no debates. It's simply the way it is. The way it's been since the day you arrived. Everyone knows it. It's just official now. So I've been promoted from Commander to... Yes, you have. Congratulations, Commander. I thought you hated titles. I hate having one, but I do love granting them. They're looking to you to guide them to greatness as only you can. Take them there. All of us here, we know about loss, don't we? We've lost loved ones, friends. We've been beaten down time and again. Our lives have been taken from us. It almost feels like our destiny. But not one of you has given up. You've stuck it out through your losses. You've come together to build, to create, to fight. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Working together, the galaxy won't have to live under the threat of a tyrant. Together, we will remove Arkan from the throne, and we will prevail. have come so far. Indeed, they have. They still have far to go, but at this rate they could one day pose a challenge to the Eternal Empire. Perhaps. A pity so many of them will have to die. Trolls in five sectors report no sign of either. Perhaps they're just figments of our imagination. Someone knows the truth. I know that look. You're about to order something wonderful. Choose one populated planet in each of the five sectors. Dispatch the fleet to bombard them. For how long? Until they're dust. Someone knows. Someone will talk. But only if we give them a reason.
You summoned us, Theron? You said you had leads on allies. Leads, yes. Commitments, no. Lon is still working on the major players. Meanwhile, there's a potential ally on Zakul we've been ignoring. Firebrand. Your information is faulty. Firebrand's not on our side. Firebrand? An unidentified individual who arrived on Zakul two years ago. She's carried out bombings in the Spire targeting military and civilian venues. That makes her a terrorist, not an ally. It makes her both. Look, I'm not thrilled with the idea, but we're in no position to get choosy. She's done as much damage as we have. Stick to the facts and reserve judgment for later. What do we know about her? Based on her rambling audio manifestos, she's an anarchist looking to bring down Emperor Arkin's perfect society. There are elements of the Spire's population who create artwork in her honor. They even trade holograms of her handiwork. If she's survived fighting Zakul so long and she's connected with the populace, she's worth investigating. All right. We'll make contact. Scorpio, you're the expert on the Zakul underworld. The Lady of Sorrows could offer high-yield explosives to draw her out. Proceed. I'll head for Zakul shortly. I'm back up if you need it. Just be careful. Arkin's still hunting for you, and Firebrand may not be the ally we're hoping. No way. No damn way. Kaleo. You piece of filth. You come looking for me? Really? She was one of your crew, right? You could say that. You were supposed to be dead. Get out of here before I make it real. I came to meet Firebrand. You're the one who's been operating against the cool for two years? Firebrand's what the locals call me to brighten their sad little lives. And you're what, the scary outlander? You heard about that. You got in the news again after ruining the droid factory. Should have been my target, but you had to come out of hiding with a splash. I wasn't hiding. I was in Carbonite until Lana Benico found me. Not one of your better lies, and just sad if it's true. So what now? You want me back on the team? Toss away what I've got just to play fascist friend to the Sith Empire? We need your help against Sakul. No. I realize you weren't expecting this. I wasn't either. But I'm not just walking away. Tell me why. What, you want a big hug? Should I be crying to see you safe? What if I just bought you a drink? Okay, look, I'm in the middle of something big. You want to tag along? We can talk. You're a half-decent shot. Agreed. You can explain on the move. I'll leave you to it. There's a contact I need to meet. First stop is the Old World Power Junctions. You know how to cold rig a detonator?
Keep an eye out for Sky Troopers. I've got to wire a joy-rigged ion grenade into the power junction. I mess up, we all fry. That blackout you caused shows the whole system is vulnerable. You know about the Overwatch? Some sort of command center. Smart girl. Overwatch is where they run half the droids in the Spire. Sky troopers, building crews, med units, you name it. We blow a couple of junctions at once, Overwatch security goes down. Force fields, scanners, no power. We walk right in. This whole city runs on machines. If we interfere with the Overwatch controls, the Spire will practically shut down. Yeah, these people. The droids do everything for them. Most of the locals sit around drooling while their tech feeds and protects them. We're gonna show them real life for a day or two. No droids. Just until it's fixed. We might be able to do more. What about reprogramming the droids from Overwatch Command? I wasn't planning on spending long in there, and tech isn't my thing. Look, you came to me. You don't like my methods? I don't really care. But I'll throw in a bonus. Tavor Slen, the Overwatch Administrator? The data he needs to run those droids is pretty much a blueprint for the city. You ever plan an attack here, you'll need that data. Defenses, vulnerabilities, everything. So we get inside, we both get something good. I'm in. I could use a blueprint of the Spire. And we always made a good team. It's just until the job is done. Come on, we better get to the next junction before the Sky Troopers show. Okay, we're set. But I've got to stick around a minute. It's supposed to meet a contact. What kind of contact? A local. Won't take long. But get too close and you'll scare her off. Firebrand? Everything's ready. I've got the Overwatch data and the rest. The rest is done too. Good girl. Who says you can't get your hands dirty? Listen, the others, they're out. They won't say anything, but they're getting their scars fixed. It's not fun anymore. Yeah, well, they're morons. We've got each other. I need to go. Don't forget, you cause me problems. Those scars can get deeper. Idiots and cowards. Remember that girl in Ka City whose dad you shot? She had spine compared to these people. You'd be surprised. I've seen Zakulans fight as well as anyone. Knights, soldiers, allies and enemies. Maybe, but I'm not talking about knights and soldiers. I've picked up a few fans over the years. That girl, daughter of the Overwatch administrator. Why is she helping you? Same reason they all did. They're sheltered kids and rebellion is taboo. They don't really want to cool overthrown, but almost getting blown up? Getting a few scars before the droids make them pretty again? Oh, that's a mark of pride. So, you came to Zakul without a support network, and built one from your enemies. A Cypher agent couldn't do better. I was always good at using people. You just showed me a few tricks to get the most out of it. At least our time together wasn't a waste. I never said that. Come on. One more power conduit. Look, I know you pretty well, so I'll make you a deal. You're too smart not to have an angle. You tell me what you're really after, I'll tell you why I'm on Zakul. There's no secret agenda. Zakul is a threat to everything. And no one but me is in a position to stop it. Totally selfless, huh? So the reason I'm here? Zakul messed things up for me. I had a lot going on. You got killed, and life fell apart. Not like I was gonna stick with the Empire, right? And we burned a lot of bridges, so... 
How bad did it get? I got by. I always get by. Owned a club, did some exchange work, but it wasn't the same. Eventually, I figured, you hit me, I hit back. Came to Zakul to wave the anarchist flag, like back when. The Zakulans seem very dedicated to their empress. You can't be finding much traction. Problem is, these people. Nothing hurts them. Blow up a building, droids rebuild. Cut up a scumwad, droids heal them. They don't know consequences. Even you killing their emperor just made them sniffle. They barely got laws. But it's not anarchy if nothing matters. It's just a sugar rush. You hear that? Sky troopers. Gotta move. We're rigged for the Overwatch, but we have to stop in my apartment first. Might be more droids there. You seem up for the challenge. This is it. My fans bought the furniture. Let me show you something. You can see the Bantasar bridge burning from here. No one's saying what happened, but I haven't seen anything like it. My father will kill me if he knows I'm recording this. Firebrand struck again. <laughs> The spaceport this time. I was so afraid. But I've never felt a rush like that before. Oh, thank Valkorion, the droids got me to safety. Grey Market Hollows. They used to trade them like it was a game. Now, watch this. Outlander's back! We were lucky she only caused a blackout. But what about next time? School should be safe. It's always been safe. What happens now? Tone's a little different on that one, huh? Suddenly blowing up a building matters. They're awed by Firebrand, but they fear the Outlander. You come back to life after everything I... After five years. Not only that, you do it by blowing up a building and humiliating me. The woman I remember could never be humiliated. But if she saw a chance to up her game, she'd do it in a second. The woman you remember isn't the woman in this room. Are you sure? Power junctions are set. Overwatch force fields cycle in an hour. Let's talk tactics until then. Everything goes down in the droid control center. You grab your data, I blow the machinery. And hopefully shoot the administrator. You're sure the data's complete? The full city schematic? Every droid in this city runs on those specs. You ever go to war with the Spire, that's your winning card. It's time. Step one, blow the junctions. Like old times, get ready to shoot droids, a few knights, whatever Zakul has to show. Data's coming through. Complete schematics for every building in the Spire. I've got enough bombs here to slag the droid controls. Fancy automated city won't be automated anymore. Damage can be repaired. But I'm disappointed, Khalil. Tavor, I was worried you ran away. You should have turned yourself into the Sky Troopers. I can't protect you from this. Not your scheme, nor allying with the Outlander. Actually, the Outlander came to ally with me. Meet Overwatch Administrator Tavor Slen. I gave you friendship, a home, a purpose. You mock me. I suggest you remove yourself from the building. 
along with anyone else alive. It's not safe. I'm going nowhere without the traitor. Tavor convinced me to sell out. Like I said before, when I saw I couldn't hurt the people here, I got lazy. He offered me a pretty cage. Nice house, free pass from the Sky Troopers. I could bomb little targets and he'd make sure no one got killed. You sponsored her. It was an outlet for our people's darker urges. A drop of poison to vaccinate against the disease of unrest. You were also really into me. Then I remembered comfort isn't everything. She is betrayal personified. Even you, Outlander, deserve better. My skills as a fighter are the model for our Sky Troopers. I will execute you both and make amends for my errors. You poor, stupid, stupid, stupid man. You know your daughter helped me set up Phase 2. What? We're not just taking out droids for a day. I've got explosives planted around the city. Roads, factories, security stations, news centers. This time when everything burns, no fire suppressor units, no medical droids, no sky troopers stopping riots. You never mentioned that. Surprise! You get it now, Tavor? You tried to use me. You all humiliated me. Now your happy city is going to hurt. They'll have no idea how to respond without their droids. Even once the machines are back online, they'll be repairing infrastructure for months. These people stole your life and mine, Agent. We had it good. I didn't see it until you were gone. So I say we do this together. Meaning what? You blow the droid controls, I detonate the city. I want to do this with you, Agent. It's not the same as shooting Arkin. But we had something special, and they ruined it. You have the gun. I don't need to pull the trigger. Suit yourself. Time to go before an army of knights shows up. Theron, you made it back. Yeah, we almost got caught in one of the blasts. It was bad down there. That'll happen when you blow up my city. There are parks and roads burning. Koth, not like this. You know how many people you killed? You want to tell me why I shouldn't walk out right now? What happened was a horrible mistake. I couldn't stop it. All I can say is that I tried. Try harder next time. He's right. Those people aren't our enemy. So, Kaleo, she knows her stuff. We keeping her? There are few people in the galaxy I'd rather have at my side. That mean I shouldn't lock up the silverware? I didn't say that. All right, we'll call this recruiting op a success. You were the Lady of Sorrows? Yes. Guess you knew if I found out, I'd melt you down. Did you know she was Firebrand? It pleases me to see you partnered again. Not an answer.
still creepy after all these years. Can't believe you found her before me. I didn't know it was her at the time. If I had, I would have approached the situation differently. Yeah, right. It's fine, we're good. Look, I'm not gonna promise to be around all the time. I've got a lot of catching up to do. I kind of wasted those years on Zakul. But if you need me, I'm here. What does catching up on the galaxy entail? Might visit Koru Nemoidia again. Spent a while there before Zakul. Kind of left a guy hanging. Come on, we're gonna find something to drink and swap stories. And Agent? Yes. I'm glad you're alive. Millions dead. Their blood is on our hands. We didn't destroy those worlds. Your children did. The atrocities on those planets were committed to hurt the Alliance, but we're not responsible for them. What are you talking about? What's happened now? Warships from the Eternal Fleet bombarded five planets in a coordinated assault. The death toll is unimaginable. Whole cities leveled. Arkan issued a statement saying those worlds were protecting us and their destruction was justice for our attacks on Zakul. A lie, of course, but no one can prove it. Arkan's desperate. He can't find us, so he's taken the galaxy hostage. We need to send our own message. Expose Arkan's lies. Show people the truth. Propaganda wars are a quagmire. The louder we shout, the more people Arkan kills. The public will turn against us. I just heard the news. We have to respond to Arkan's attack. No. That's precisely what he wants. Is it? We already have more objectives than resources. But we can make a course adjustment. People now know Arkan for what he is. Let's use that. The angrier people get, the more it will destabilize the enemy. Fanning the flames could prove dangerous, but it might reveal new friends. Well, the real trick is keeping those new friends alive long enough to recruit them. We're only delaying the inevitable. Sooner or later, my children must answer for what they've done. Five worlds to dust? I made hollows of it. Do you want a copy? Father was on the cool. He used the Outlander to attack our home. I don't remember him being so funny when he was alive. Am I laughing? You've never laughed. Our knights failed us. They must regain their honor. Send them to the dueling circle in pairs. They'll battle to the death. Finding the Outlander will be harder with half our knights dead. The survivors will be motivated. You know my command. Something on your mind? I need your help with something. You just wanted to get me alone. Guilty, but business before pleasure. I passed a portion of that data you secured from Overwatch through an SIS contact of mine. Made a convincing invitation to some prospective allies in the Republic Special Forces. You aren't very trusting of your former masters, are you? Well, a whisper in the right ear often gets you further than shouting at all the wrong ones. The data I gave over was enough to convince Havoc Squad to take leave of their official duties. I have it on good authority they're conducting an unscheduled operation on Zakul. My contacts set up a rendezvous, but it's up to you to sell them on this alliance. Wouldn't they be more receptive to one of their own? Havoc starting their own little war out here is basically treason. I'm a spy. 
If anything, they'll be even less likely to trust me than you. Anti-material rifle trained on your position and an unrestricted firing angle for at least a hundred meters. That's either really good or really bad, depending on your reasons for being here. I represent an alliance forming against Emperor Arkan. We thought that might interest you. So the message said. Stand down, Havoc. It wasn't all that long ago that I'd have given up my pension to take that shot, but I guess it's not just the spies making compromises these days. Don't look at me. I was never here. Major Jorgen, Havoc Squad. You I don't recognize. You've heard of Cypher 9. And now I've got a face to put to all the scary stories. For as long as I choose to wear it. When you transcend the need for one at all, then you may understand me. I'm tired of seeing Arkan stomp all over the galaxy. You want to finally start giving as good as you're getting? I've got enough that can use your help. What do you need? Your landing didn't go unnoticed. Hostiles! Clear! Clear! That won't be the last of them. Dengarul, Zaven split north. Abbott, Torg, south. Canner, take Theron, fastest route back to the camp. We'll regroup there. You, with me, we're covering the retreat. Let's see if you can use that rifle half as well as you claim. You'll find out. The Sky Troopers have numbers and mobility. Losing them's gonna take misdirection. I need a good vantage. Here. No sign of pursuit. Watch my six while I cover the retreat. This new Emperor. You've met him? I have. What's your assessment? Valkorion believed he could start something new and different here. But in the end, he only taught his heirs to be every bit the Sith he was. Or perhaps it is merely the nature of a son to seek to surpass his father. what's left in this galaxy. The Republic I signed up to protect doesn't exist anymore. We gave the reins over to people who don't care how we win. Just as long as we do, Suresh is all but a dictator now. And that was enough for you to walk away from everything you swore to protect? I'll fight for the Republic until the day I die. I won't fight for a political agenda. Suresh and her puppet chancellor have everyone convinced the state of emergency requires executive action. She and her top brass just push through whatever suits their interests. Never thought I'd miss bureaucrats butting into military matters. But what we gained in efficiency, we lost in soul. A war won't wait for you to tally votes. And it doesn't care if you can't reach a consensus. Someone still has to answer for those decisions at the end of the day. Hold on. Got something. Civvies. And Sky Troopers. They're in trouble. Keep the pressure on those droids until I've engaged. Affirmative. You... you saved us. Everyone all right? Anyone injured? No, no, I don't think so. Thank you. The Sky Troopers, they just came from nowhere. We done nothing. We're no threat to the Spire, but the droids drove us from our homes and started burning everything. Please, stop them like you did for us. There are others out there. 
Our families and friends, our homes. There'll be nothing left. We'll stop the droids. Gather anyone you find away from the fighting. Ready when you are. Go! Just get out of here! This is your fault! You did this to us! We just risked our lives to get you away from those Sky Troopers. They've got every reason to be mad. Sky Troopers are probably searching for us. They wanted for nothing before my reign ended. Look on them now. I believe you wanted to help. But we were doomed the moment you came here. The Emperor will want to make an example of your resistance. He'll likely claim we conspired with you as an excuse to crack down harder. Why are you being targeted by Arkan? Because we doubt. Tell them the reason. I asked for proof of how our immortal Emperor could ever die. I searched the old ways for guidance. I wondered why we continue to seek revenge on so many Outlanders for the actions of one. I sought justice for those condemned to exile. We all had questions, and the new Emperor does not suffer them. You may have given him an excuse to silence us for good. We have a camp. I can offer you protection. You've only got a handful of soldiers, and we don't have the resources to support this many refugees. Take a look around. Anything would be better than what they've got now. Okay. We'll trust you. Kenner, we're on our way back. We've got civvies in tow. A lot of them. Be on the lookout. Hope you're up for some trailblazing. We'll need a clearer path for a group this large. Let's go! Welcome back, sir. The refugees have been trickling in. We're setting them up where we can. But I'm concerned about supplies. This is a lot of mouths to feed. Shelter and protection will have to do for now. We'll resume the mission tomorrow, after the refugees have settled in. Get some shut-eye. Understood, sir. You heard him. Get this camp in order and tuck in. This alliance may be your show to run, but those soldiers, they're my responsibility. We clear? I came for your cooperation, not your obedience. Hmm. You're not what I expected. Not entirely. I'll see you in the morning, 0700. You saved a lot of lives today. Will he be joining us? In an advisory capacity. Pashner knows more about Zakul than all of us put together. What you did yesterday? I wouldn't have thought it possible. I want to help you do more. A source of mine in the SIS entrusted Havoc with an interesting piece of intelligence not too long ago. I'm guessing we have Theron to thank for that. But it's the reason we're all here. No comment. The data identified a planetary transmitter within a Zakul night outpost. Our mission is to plant a wiretap on that equipment. And then their secrets will be laid bare. We get a direct line on their communications. Havoc can start hitting high-value targets all across the Spire. And evade retaliation. We'd be ghosts. Deadly. Heavily armed. Ghosts. This sounds like something Havoc Squad could have accomplished already. Deploying the wiretap without it being discovered will either take a month of prep or a really big distraction. If you're willing to commit the resources, we can move on this immediately. Then it's decided. Send word to Odessan. We're going on the offensive. You're really going to attack Arkan's forces? Just enough to get their attention. We don't have the forces for a real invasion yet. Your people can handle the diversion. I want you along for the strike on the transmitter. We're gonna need every heavy hitter we can get, and you more than qualify. Let's move out.
A few sentries on the exterior. Nothing out of the ordinary. Give the order when ready. Begin the attack. Copy. Let's go. the best we're gonna get. Havoc, keep us covered and watch for reinforcements. We're going in. Copy, Major. Flash! The good news? It works. And the bad? Well, they know we're here. Reinforcements are already inbound. We've got incoming. Brace for a fight, Havoc. Any last words? Can that garbage? Had to be droids. <laughs> About damn time. I thought we might not make it. I'm glad to be wrong. Did you follow us? When we heard your call, we knew what had to be done. We've spent our entire lives being protected by our droids, by you. We want to stand for ourselves. Won't get any argument from me. Let's get back to camp, huh? We took a beating, but the mission was a success. And we discovered an unexpected ally. I call that progress. Attacking Zakul was never going to be easy. Nobody else has made it this far. I'll give us that. It's a bigger victory for Pashna and his people than us. Finding the will to fight back, proving they could win, or conceding his own defeat in these swamps. How do you mean? Every defiant soul Arkan drives out here, we can turn into a weapon against him. I want to embed havoc with the rebels. Train them to be a proper fighting force. Build an army right under his nose. Whip them into shape. I'll work on getting them equipment. If we teach them right, you won't have to. Interesting group you've got here. Takes all kinds, I guess. Against this enemy, anyone we can find. Desperation makes for strange bedfellows. Not the strangest for some of us. One more word. Enough! Fun as this is, I need to get back to Havoc. I've requisitioned passable training gear to issue to the Rebels. At least until they can keep from shooting their own toes off. I can't believe we're gonna ask civilians to fight our battles. It doesn't feel right. They're going to do this whether we help or not. Teaching them how to is what's best for them and us. A more rigorous analysis would suggest the cost-benefit is more strictly in their favor. That depends on what you're measuring, Scorpio. The projected impact of Havoc Squad's direct intervention versus a model of successful guerrilla insurrections over the same duration. Pushy droid you've got. You don't want to call her that. What? Pushy? Droid. The extent of my being is beyond your comprehension. Yeah. Clearly. If you need me, you know where to look.
I require your attention. Do not tarry. Good. You're here. Astute observation, Agent Sean. It is a wonder the SIS could get by without your deductive reasoning. You're a droid that's gotten too big for her own bolts. How's that for an astute observation? Five minutes. Can we please go five minutes without you two at each other's throats? Setting the clock. Three, two, one. Why do I feel like you're encouraging more than helping? Scorpio, show the commander what you found. Please? My analysis of enemy communications obtained by Havoc Squad revealed something interesting. Hidden inside a mundane signal, I discovered an encrypted transmission was codenamed the Gemini Frequency. They are broadcast from the throne to every vessel in the Eternal Fleet. The spire schematics provided by Kaleo confirm this. It's how Arkin commands his warships. This is the break we've been waiting for, a direct line to the enemy fleet. Start a plan of attack. It's Arkin's turn to be on the defensive. Scorpio cross-referenced all the data Havoc Squad and Kaleo stole from Zakul. When we compared the enemy's comm logs to the Spire maps, we found something unexpected. There's a hyperwave relay station hidden 10,000 meters beneath the spire. It's the only source of Gemini frequency transmissions to and from the Eternal Throne. That's how Arkin commands the fleet. And we know where it is. That relay station is our key to the Gemini frequency. If we can decrypt it, we'll eavesdrop on the enemy and learn his plans. If we take it out, Arkan won't only be blind, he'll be toothless. The fleet will sit there waiting for commands that never arrive. First order of guerrilla warfare. Disrupt enemy communications. This is a demolition op all the way. You'll never get near that relay station. It's ten kilometers underground and defended by more safeguards than we can count. Well, it's a good thing our data reveals every security measure in the way, and how to defeat them. A strike team can disable the defenses right under Arkan's nose, but only if we send it in now. Our intel's turning stale as we speak. Kaleo and Major Jorgen are already on Zakul. They're in position to clear the commander a path directly to the relay station. We are not sending that terrorist. She's done enough to my world. Senya's right. Can't believe I had to say that. Avic Squad was made for this op. We have enough dead night to turn that relay station into a crater. Cut the head off the serpent. Throw the fleet into chaos. You're trusting the fate of the galaxy to a gang of grenade-happy bucketheads? We're only getting one shot at this. Lucky for you, one shot is all I need. Oh, is that what you tell all your victims? Destroying that relay station is a bonehead play. Send me, and you'll control the Gemini frequency. The idea has potential, and she's an experienced infiltrator who survived on Zakul for years. She bombed my people. Never again. Destroying the relay station is a last resort. But if things go wrong, I need someone who can get creative. That's Kaleo. She's like a rancor on a glass factory. This is a mistake. We also have to make Arkan miserable and distract him from our real purpose. Havoc Squad can do that better than anyone. We won't disappoint, Commander. I'm already moving. Be seeing you. You can't please everyone. But it may be prudent to consult Valkorion. He built the Spire. He may tell you how to invade it.
Valkorian, we need to talk. Talking is your greatest talent. It is time I taught you when to listen. Time and again, you reject my aid. Why would I trust you with secrets you have not earned? I refused your power because I know it isn't worth the price. You're proving me right. I am not your servant, and you have trifled with my patience for the last time. Theron, it's me. Something's wrong. I need backup. Your friends cannot hear you. I don't have time for your insanity. I have a mission on Zakul. You may still go, if you survive. You have forgotten what it means to face death alone. I will remind you. You think secrets grant power, that striking from the shadows will be enough. You are wrong. Until you embrace your full potential, you will only be a pawn of fate, never its master. I follow my own path, Valkorion, not yours. You truly believe that? How pathetic. The future is not a river to carry us. It is the ocean in which we drown if we are not prepared. You have two destinies, Outlander. In one, you defeat Arkham, claim the Eternal Throne, and remake the galaxy. In the other, you die alone, unmourned and forgotten. I brought you here to taste that defeat. Pitiful. Why did I ever believe you could change anything? You want me dead? If that's what it takes to get rid of you, do it. I will not gift you that release. Not yet. This was a fraction of the pain my children can inflict. If you do not finish your training, become something greater, you will feel the full weight of their rage. Imperial intelligence prepared me for anything, and I haven't lost my edge. You do not perceive the path ahead, even when it is obvious. Let that be your first lesson. I cannot stay to protect you any longer. There are matters to which I must attend, but I will leave you with a final token of my favor. Fulfill your destiny, and I promise to return. I've had enough of your threats. I never wanted this in the first place. You can stay gone. I hope this is not the end of our journey. And one day, so will you.
Cheer up, big brother. You're making me sad. Father won't face me himself. He's punishing you for stealing his chair. He isn't angry. Father never feels anything. Not even when I... When Vexen died. He was a good brother. Brought me gifts from all the worlds he conquered. I freed you from father's control. I hope that earned your... support. My loyalties lie here, Arkin. Always. I've waited for you a long time. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shan. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he meant with you? You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. Don't take this personally, but you've gotten... strange. I think we both have. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. I don't think your son would appreciate it if you killed me. We didn't save you to spare Theron's feelings. We felt something we'd lost for a long time. Hope. You've changed in ways we still don't understand. Whatever his reasons, Valkorion has opened you to powers and a destiny, far beyond the horizon of your old life. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it, Zakul. Arkan and his knights learned to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. What makes Arkan and his followers so different from Jedi or Sith? Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You 
must become stronger. The Knights of Zakul are slaves to the Eternal Emperor. I will never be like them. Those who do not bend, break. Darth Maul. Herkorian destroyed my flesh, but not my reason for being. I saw that man die five years ago. What is this, Jedi? A hologram? The Force is more powerful than death. You will learn. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one in all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. I can't decide what's worse. That you went soft, or Satil fell to the dark side. If our roles were reversed, I'd feel the same doubt. No one is more surprised than I am to be here, in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory. All we ask is that you listen with an open mind, and learn from our failures. To forge the future, you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkham requires new perspectives, and new weapons. Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you and meet us in the cave. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Tell me, do you believe in the future? I knew this had to be a trap. How long have that Jedi and Sith been helping you? Surrounded by assassins. Poor pitiful you. I fought Arkin's sister. Valen was right here. No. That was merely a warning. A vision. You do not use the Force. But Valkorion's power lets you glimpse through it. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkan stands Valen. And behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war. A different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change. As you have. The devices I found out there. I can build a new weapon with them. Much more than that. A projection of your will. Wield it wisely, and you will unite the stars beneath your own banner. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power, and decide what form it takes. I'm ready when you are. There's no defeat I can't overcome. It's done. That weapon is part of you now. The next time you face Arkan in battle, he will not be ready for it. But violence can only destroy. It doesn't inspire others to greatness, and it can never rebuild. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkurian and refused to bend. That choice broke me and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. 
I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand, because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who counted on us. We would spare you that pain. I've been a leader before. I know what it takes to win a war. Imperial intelligence taught you how to manipulate others from the shadows. But you cannot rule that way forever. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. Directing the war effort is a mere fraction of the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat, or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. Your final lesson waits there. You killed her children. She will devour you as revenge. What hope do you have to escape such raw fury? I don't need to escape. I only need to fight. You killed your enemy and claimed its home. For now. Some believe you are destined to walk this path. Others think you make the choices that decide their fates. Your alliance will collapse if you do not know yourself and the ideal you serve. Do you understand? There is no destiny. My choices make all the difference. Your way is clear, and so is ours. Do you feel it, Mar? The Force draws us elsewhere. The exile on Odessan is over. A new path has opened thanks to you. Our duty is to follow it. You can't leave. You've barely told me anything I need to know. You know what must be done. That's enough. Trust in the path ahead. The Alliance awaits its commander. Farewell. Sub-level 4 open. No guards. <laughs> so close to a new kill record. We should have cancelled her mission when the commander disappeared. She's unstable. She's ahead of schedule, and the casualties are acceptable. So glad to have your support. The relay station is only three levels away. Be prepared to slice the Gemini frequency the moment you're inside. She terrorized our home, and we let her go back. It's not too late for Havoc Squad to finish this op right. Demolish the whole facility. Over your dead body. Or yours. Let's not be picky. I sent Kaleo on this mission for a reason. Let her work. Where the blazes have you been? Valkorion dragged me into the wilderness and almost killed me. Then he left my mind to go somewhere else. He wouldn't say. Satil Shan and the ghost of Darth Ma have been here on Odessan the whole time. They found me in the wilderness. My mother's here? With Darth Mar? Not anymore. They left on some other mission. But not before revealing what it'll take to stop Arkan. It's... complicated. That's an awful lie. It must be true. Blast it. Sky Troopers. At least a dozen. Almost ran right into them. Don't panic. Maybe they didn't see you. If they did, things are about to get exciting. Kaleo, come in. Come in. No signal. We need a contingency plan. If they capture her, turn her against us? We can't evacuate Odessa. We just finished decorating the place. I warned you this would happen. We're going in. Stand down. We're not doing anything until we know more. It's not your call. You abandoned your post. Now I have to clean up the mess. <laughs>
Still no word from Major Jorgen or Kaleo. Everything within a kilometer of the spire has been locked down. No signal gets in or out of that zone. I warned you that Gemini frequency mission was dangerous. If they're alive, it won't be for much longer. We can't be certain of anything. If they're safe, they'll contact us. If not, Arkin will make a public spectacle of them. Can't say I'd feel too bad about losing Kaleo, but Jorgen's a good man. Regardless, any rescue attempt on our part would be suicide. Their fates are in their hands. I'll alert you the moment I hear anything, but until then, we're just wasting time here. We could all use a break to regroup. That includes you, Theron. I'm too tired to argue. Oh, almost forgot. Hilo Viz asked to see you, Commander. Wouldn't say why, but it sounded important. Hey, Commander, got a sec? What's on your mind? We're doing our best to keep the supply lines running, but most of the people I deal with aren't exactly philanthropists. We can't keep running this thing on goodwill and borrowed credits. Who are we accepting money from? Better if you don't know, but I'd really prefer not to be living off their kind of debt. But look, I didn't just come here with complaints. I know a guy with a habit of showing up when someone's in need. He's reached out with an offer we can't really refuse, much as I might want to. You should meet him. With that kind of recommendation, how can I say no? I know, I know. We've got history. The only thing to trust about him is that he can do what he promises. Hear him out. Come on. Well, this has been an interesting diversion, but I think it's time to wrap things up. I call. Come on, Lana. Now? My fold. So soon? Must be quite a hand. Let's see it. But how? I mean, you discarded every chance you got and never locked a card the whole round. Uh, the odds are astronomical. You cheated. Yeah, even if I did. You sure the old boss of Sith intelligence wants to admit some shifty alien got the better of her? Wasted no time turning the card table into a graveyard. It's my preferred method of execution. Commander, the most untrustworthy scoundrel I know. Untrustworthy scoundrel, the commander. She never was big on formalities. Galt Renault, at your service. Hello, Galt. I hear you have an offer for me. The Eternal Empire spent the last five years pillaging every world in the known galaxy. Now, how'd you like to turn all that plundering into a profit for you and yours? I'm listening. I happen to know where they're keeping all that ill-gotten gain. Better yet, I've got a surefire plan to steal it right out from under their noses. I just need the help of a few talented, tough customers to see it through. I've been known to misappropriate funds when the need arises. There's nothing to miss about this appropriation, that I promise. Ever heard of the Gilded Star? I'll stop you there, you haven't. It's one of the Eternal Empire's most tightly guarded secrets. A floating treasury circling the depths of a massive gas giant. The ship and the buried treasure all wrapped up into one neat little package. Well, maybe not little. By my estimation, it's the greatest sum of wealth gathered in one place since the Hut Empire was a thing. So, you in? I don't think I need any more reasons to say yes. I hoped you'd feel that way. When you're ready to get this show on the road, we'll be heading to Vanden to lay some groundwork. Looking forward to this, partner. She is Vanden. 
Mind the ledges when you're walking around unless you fancy a death by scenic view. You haven't mentioned why we're here. Giant barge full of money. Is this ringing any bells? It's out there somewhere, swimming below sight and scan range. Something about the magnetism here plays havoc with sensors and cheap fillings. Bottom line is, we'll never find the Gilded Star out there, which is all the more reason to get our preparations underway. Such as picking up the last member of our illustrious crew. How many people are we going to need? Half a dozen, give or take. This is the last one unaccounted for. You should be in a warehouse not far from the dockyards. I'll point out the place when I see it. So, this plan I mentioned? It's going to take the best identity forger this side of the galaxy to pull off. Uh, problem is, he's been in hiding, specifically in that, for a long time. He probably won't be too thrilled to have visitors. Especially not visitors who had his safe house shipped a few thousand parsecs unannounced. Be on your toes. I think I can handle a grimy hermit. Just don't kill him, or the only thing getting washed is the plan. Stretcher, is it? They always say retirement's a good time to travel. Why don't you come and check out the new scenery? Tiresias! You've got a lot of nerve showing your ugly mug to me again! Tiresias. Just a name I carried around for a while, no use to anybody now. I think you've got me confused for someone else, friend. Name's Galt Renault. Got a business proposition I think you'll want to hear about. You can't play dumb with me, Ty. I know that face better than you do. What do you mean? He's seen a lot of my work. I even made him a perfect duplicate. Better than perfect. My version didn't talk. I've had enough of helping that fraud fake his own death. This time, it's gonna stick. A little gift for your hospitality. You can mail or just about anything. Still can't roll with the punches. Hmm, you perfectionist types never learn. There's no such thing as a sure thing. Why are we trying to recruit someone who wants to kill you? He's the one with the crotch! After I made that body double, he went to swindle half of Narshada in my name! Because Dretcher is literally the only one I trust to pull this off. It's taken everything I know to stay hidden in this little prison. Every time I start to think I can leave, Someone snitches on my new identities. That true? So maybe I encourage Dretcher's early retirement. This little box is cozier than a coffin and a better place to reflect on how stupid trying to blackmail me was. But hey, ancient history, am I right? I'm more than willing to forget about our past disagreements if you do one more job for me. Uh, I can never help you again. Listen, Dretcher. 
I don't know how much you know about life on the outside these days, but it's bad. If you want there to be something left to look forward to when you come out, I need your help. And if you think it's hard to live under the scanners now, just wait until the Eternal Empires fully stake their claim on the galaxy. Sit tight, dretch, and get reacquainted with the concept of hygiene. We've got one more stop to make before we get to the fun part. Punctual, gentlemen. Glad you could make it all this way. No trouble acquiring my little request, I take. <laughs> it's here. You got our money? Of course, friend, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask to see the goods first. Satisfied. I think you need to tell me more about this plan. We're getting to that part just as soon as we're finished here. You got our money? About that. I was really thinking we should renegotiate the price. You know, seeing as I don't need the whole missile. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might feel that way. Launch sequence initiated. Target acquired. Total atomic dispersal in T minus one minute. You, you son of a. Make it stop! Nah. Are you insane? Not while I'm negotiating. T minus 55 seconds. Warhead primed. Suffering index set to maximum. You're gonna pay for this! Suckers. Abort sequence aborted. No stopping me now. Yeah, what did she do to this thing? Come on, come on, it's not responding. Are there any circuits you could cut? Oh, sure, dozens. Got any ideas which ones? Tampering detected. Emergency detonation in five seconds. Nice try, jerks. Now, I cannot tell if she did a terrible job rewiring this or too good a one. Three. Oh, so close. Two. I can't wait. One. <laughs> that was great. Ha, uh, ha. Uh. Come on. That was pretty good. Admit it. As pranks go, high marks. Uh, don't encourage her. Allow me to introduce my partner, Vet. She has a habit of getting where she's not wanted. Like on your nerves, for instance. Did you get the warhead, or were you too busy practicing your lines? Yes, I got it, grumpy pants. Though I guess those lizard brains will have figured out nothing's exploded by now. I'll see if I can't distract them. Time to make ourselves scarce. We'll see you back at the hideout. Toodles! If 
you're still wondering why you're here, it isn't to check out the Tabana gas bars. There's a stealth cruiser loaded with more precious metals than a hut's taste in art hiding down in the lower atmosphere, and it's about to come up for air. And while the Gilded Star is roosting at the Skyhook for its annual resupply, we're going to rob it blind. How do you even know about that? A little bird told us. I speak stool pigeon. Even if you do know where it's going to be, it's got a full military complement on board and a vault that could survive the ship being reduced to atoms. Most people would consider it impregnable, but we aren't most people, are we, Senya? You do seem to know a lot about our target. Yes, well, I should. Overseeing the Gilded Star was among my duties when I still served Valkorion. Then you are privy to its operational protocols. I doubt they're still the same. You don't have to run the thing. Just get Scorpio to the ship's control center. There's no way we could infiltrate that far into the ship undetected. Oh, maybe, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure High Justice Valen can go wherever she pleases. You're going to have Senya pose as Valen. We've got the best identity doctor this side of the galaxy, and as close to a genetic match as we're gonna get. I could never match Valen's gene sequence like that. Although, maybe simulating data corruption in her ID and create enough doubt to bluff her way through. Dear old mom can manage that, right? Once Valen and her attaché droid are on board, they head to the bridge, seize control of the ship, and allow the rest of us to do our parts. Like cracking the vault. It isn't controlled by the network, so I've got to get into the guts of the ship to reach the mechanism. I'll need your help. Meanwhile, Lana and Koth will bridge airlocks with a tanker transport I've secured for the goods. How are we going to carry an entire treasury's worth of loot out of the vault before anyone catches on? Oh, we won't be carrying anything out of the vault. Into, that's another story. Remember how Senya mentioned the vault could withstand everything outside being vaporized? The same applies to what we're setting off inside. The warhead. Exactly. I'll be pulling up the rear with a disintegration bomb. Once it's done its job, we pump the atmosphere into the waiting tanker and make our escape. What's the exit strategy? Once that sucker explodes, the crew's going to notice. Everybody's just going to have to hightail it to the transport before they catch on. Now, since we've got less than a day before the Gilded Star rolls into port, I'd suggest everybody get real familiar with their part. This is close enough, and there's the Gilded Star, just like I promised. <sighs> I was expecting shinier. Gold-plated and stealth ship don't exactly line up. Now, we just have to hope Mommy Dearest remembers her daughter's birthday. I can kill you from here, Gold. Great, really getting into the spirit of your character, at least from what I hear. Shut up. We are approaching the checkpoint. No further communications are warranted until the bridge is under our control. Roger, break a leg, ladies. It's in their hands now. All we've got to do is wait. Once they open the way for us, all we have to do is get this bomb inside the vault. Assuming everything goes according to plan. But hey, if something has to go horribly wrong, now's the best time. For us, anyway. I honestly can't tell if that's optimism. Oh sure, I'd be less than thrilled to have my perfect shot at ludicrous affluence botched by rank amateurs, but live to filch another day and all that. I am now in complete control of the Gilded Stars network. I will isolate the vessel's sentinels to the best of this system's ability. Showtime! Okay, I ought to be able to reach the vault mechanism along this route. Keep clearing a path for Galt, and I'll see you soon. I really, really hope they check for Minox. Are you sure those schematics were scaled in meters? I can hardly move. My last partner didn't complain nearly this much. Your last partner was crushed to death. And never once complained about it.
Okay, vet, I'm here. Just give me a sec. Time's a factor. Hey, you want to cut through a foot of cortosis and steel while hanging upside down in a half meter crawl space? There. Jerk. Try it. The moment of truth. I've been rich, filthy rich, but nothing like this. Counting the zeros on a balance sheet can't even compare. There's just something magical about the real thing. I couldn't begin to put a number to all this. At a certain point, you just stop counting. It won't look nearly as impressive in a second, but it'll spend all the same. Do the honors. To lucrative partnerships. Payloads delivered. It's time for the pay dirt. We're in position. Extending umbilical. Seal is tight. All green. Airlock disengaged. Awaiting order for depressurization. Door is open. Commencing depressurization. Tank is filling. So far, so good. It will take approximately 10 minutes, 17 seconds to siphon the space of that volume. Plenty of time to make our exit. Great. Let's blow this joint. Did you bring that with you? This little thing? Nah. I passed the armory and it was just laying around, so I figured nobody'd miss it. It is unlikely the detonation went unnoticed. After we vacate the bridge, I will no longer be able to maintain a complete lockdown. See? Perfectly justified acquisition. Come on. I want to try this thing out. Just scramble the systems as best you can and leg it to the tanker. We'll see you there. We're at capacity. Scorpio and Senya are on board. What's the situation? We're keeping them busy on our end, but I don't think we're any closer to reaching you. Scorpio, do you still have any access to the blast doors? Only through direct input. Great. Just bug out before anyone notices you buzzing around. We'll take the skyhook back down and meet you at the hideout. Play it cool. My guardian angel will handle anybody taking an unhealthy interest. The lift's not coming, is it? Oh no, it's coming. It's just not empty. Valen. I can sense her presence. Time for plan B. What's plan B? Run and hope for a plan C. I was expecting something a bit more concrete. There's being prepared and being psychic. For lack of a crystal ball, we'll have to improvise. Even if you win and don't turn the skyhook into crumbled wreckage, we'll still be surrounded by thousands of her flunkies. We have to go around. There is no around. There is out there. You want us to scale the exterior? Pretty much. Look, there's no time to stand here arguing, so I recommend lodging your complaints at a steady jog. Uh, it's not so bad. Just don't look down. Or consider your own mortality. Goodbye, Spewy. I'll never forget you. Okay, so, remember Plan C? You never actually got to Plan C, Galt. Turns out Plan C is... Jump!
Mother was here, again. She had the audacity to wear my face. And her punishment? Escaped. She knows I won't be bested the next time we meet. Oh, empty threats all you've brought for me. I interrupted their little raid on the treasury. They couldn't have accomplished much in the time they were here. Perfect timing. I'm not the one who has a problem showing up when I'm supposed to. Jeez, how long are you planning to hold that over me? The rest of your life, naturally. Thanks for keeping my worst half out of too much trouble. You two are a couple. Don't sound so surprised. It's complicated. Anyway, I think we've all had our fill of Vanden, and it's gonna get a lot less hospitable shortly, so... shall we? Let's get our hole back to Odessa. There's nothing like coming home from a job well done, especially when you've ruined a huge jerk's day in the process. Couldn't agree more. Come to think of it, our plan was lacking in one department. An actual escape route? It was the scenic route. Can't argue with the view. No, the one thing missing was a way to see the look on Arkin's face when he got the news. That's a pretty big oversight, Galt. It's coming out of your cut. Let's not get carried away. We're talking a fringe benefit at best. Now, how about we get on with my favorite part and divvy up the loot? Already taken care of. You, Vet, and Dretcher already paid out. I took the liberty of skimming what you owe me off yours. Well, take all the fun out of it, why don't you? Your idea of fun is why your divvying privileges are still revoked. Just what did you do, exactly? Ran out on me with the biggest score of our careers. And I regretted it ever since. Well, after the shine wore off. A little older, a little wiser, you know? Okay, maybe a lot older. It was a formative moment. The point is we're on to bigger and better things. Like melting a mint down into an ocean of liquid happiness. Now, however you want to spend your cut is none of my business. But if you want to, say, triple it, I might have a little something in the works. This money isn't ours. I don't mind taking it from Arkin. But I want nothing to do with it. It does feel wrong to keep it. Our goal was to fund the Alliance, not personal gain. Who says it can't be both? You just need a little ambition. Or, you know, you could try giving. Maybe just once. See what you've been missing. My share is going towards buying back some of the artifacts stolen from my people. Freeing slaves. Giving Twi'lax a better place in the galaxy. Honestly, we've got way more than we need for operations. It'd be good to have a plan for the excess. I'd like to distribute our surplus back to the world's Ark and Plundered. I don't care how. A fruitless gesture. That wealth will return to the Eternal Empire so long as they remain in power. People are suffering out there. What are we doing if not trying to help them? If you are confused, our objective is not to alleviate suffering. It is removing the Eternal Empire from power. No fools in accounting, and no accounting for fools. It appears our business is concluded. Oh, I don't know. I figure you'll be seeing me around. You've got a handy little outfit here. Besides, I wouldn't want Hilo to get lonely. <laughs> as if. If your alliance happens to need a morale officer, I'm game. Kicking Arkin's butt should require a full-time party planner. Speaking of parties... This stuff sells for more than most freighters. Grab some glasses and get to know what success tastes like. Commander, Major Jorgen and Kaleo just landed. They're in the docking bay. So much for celebrating. Go ahead, we'll be right behind.
I was 30 meters from a computer that would have given me the Gemini frequency. But no, your idiot brigade had to come in blasting. You were surrounded. We saved you. And blew the mission. If it wasn't for my backup plan, you would have died down there. Backup plan? Your escape route detonated a hospital. Enough. You both failed the mission. This Alliance and me. I don't get points for bringing Major Misfire home alive. Good to know for next time. It wasn't a complete loss. I grabbed something on the way out. My fire team covered you. Yeah, yeah. Point is, we lifted the data core from a security console right outside that hyperwave relay station. It's not the key to the Gemini frequency, but it does contain a massive file archive all about those droids. I'll put Scorpio to work sifting through the information. See if there's anything to salvage from this fiasco. Whatever's in those files has to make up for the lives that were lost getting them. Nobody regrets those losses more than me, Commander. The casualties were unacceptable. It could have gone much worse, but we can't let this happen again. Major Jorgen disobeyed your orders not to follow Kaleo. In the Republic military, that kind of insubordination is grounds for court-martial. I'll give you a chance to convince me otherwise, Major. Havoc Squad doesn't make excuses. I take full responsibility for my actions. Everyone here is doing their best, and I know you'll learn from this mistake. Let's all move on. I let pride get the better of me. It won't happen again. I'll start with her fingertips, and work my way up. Take one knuckle at a time, then her hands. Do you remember, Mother? Not what she is now. Who are the children? I remember her telling Father I was dangerous. How I had to be controlled. She always hated me. She never understood us. Oh, Father. She helped the Outlander steal our pretties. They took everything. Those things can be replaced. When all the worlds we've conquered find out what's happened, they'll think we're weak. Test us. I remain the greatest power the galaxy has ever seen. My enemies know what I'll do to them. If they cross me. Fear is always free. I will be generous with it. We're ready, Commander. Where are the others? Theron is online from the Mistani sector. The rest are unavailable, on scouting or security detail. I'd prefer to be patrolling myself. Can we proceed? I have additional information regarding the Gemini network that controls the Eternal Fleet. The network links mechanical captains inside the fleet's ships. Their security protocols cannot be directly subverted. Why not? Because the Gemini Captains are based on me. I understood your design was unique. Or close to it. Now you're saying Zakul has an army of Scorpio models. Imitations programmed to control the fleet. How they came to exist, I do not know. But I will not be imitated. Based on what I have decoded, the Geminis are produced from a mold. A template. Gemini Prime. Why a physical template? My technology is not easily duplicated. The Gemini Prime is linked to a factory on the world of Darvanus. Retrieve the unit and I will unlock the secrets of the network and the fleet. Then, whatever other problems we may have, Gemini Prime is our best lead. Senya, what can you tell us about the target? I know Darvanus. One of the first worlds we conquered when the war started. A staging point into the wider galaxy. That factory builds droids, weapons, starships. It's a key resource, fortified accordingly. 
fully automated defenses. I've seen it's like, tunnels running kilometers deep, too large for a strike team. Then we plan a full-scale assault. How close are we to assembling an army? We don't have nearly enough people here. But Theron... I've been securing military allies along the rim. There's a favor I can pull in. Rather not say more over the comm, but I can set a rendezvous with forces on Darvanus. You can take the factory and grab Gemini. I'm not a general, Theron. But I suppose infiltrating the droid factory is out of the question? Afraid so. I'll signal our allies. Any luck, they'll be on Darvanus before you. The rest of you get the Greystone ready for combat. Once we have Gemini Prime, it'll be us against the fleet. One way or another. planet. <laughs> the hot pleasure worlds are a dozen parsecs out. Shut up, Como. You're in good shape for a dead woman. Shay Vizsla. I wasn't expecting Mandalorians. We're what you got. Heard you need a factory pulverized. A dozen clans stand with Mandalore the Avenger. We're ready for blood, even if our enemies are built of metal and grease. Mandalore the Avenger? Rough few years. Eternal fleets kept us under siege on the Heart Worlds. I picked up the title along the way. When your spy boy offered a chance to hit back, I agreed. Been on defense too long. If you're pulling the clans from their homes, you're looking for more than vengeance. What's your plan? You need us, we need you. Good for everyone. Long term. Plus, if we take Darvanus, we get the spoils. How have you deployed your troops around the factory? Rotating assault teams of 200 commandos each. Places a fortress. Needs hammering before we go in. Next attack starts in five. Forward teams are in position to down the energy shield. You want to be useful? Capture the perimeter guns and retarget the factory. Torian! Mandalore. Torian's chief of Clan Gadara, and the best scout we've got. He'll show you the way. Guns are in Sector 9. Plenty of Skytroopers. Keep up. I'll try to protect you. Take me to the guns. We have a factory to conquer. Retursia me, Mandalore. Stay alive. Both of you. Guns hot. Ready to target droids and factory defenses. We have the shield generators down. Give the place a pounding. Where are you? Still inside the perimeter. The droids, they outflanked us. Couldn't withdraw. Understood. Those soldiers, they're inside the firing zone? Yes. Already dead. No honor in being beaten by machines. You've served with those people down there? You know what resources your army has. I can't make this decision. We're Mandalorian. There is no decision. Incoming! Better get back to base. Mandalore will be planning a new assault. This silly Mandalorians firebomb their own people. I feel tingly. They crush themselves against us without remorse. You admire them? 
They amuse me. Are you smiling? I can never tell. We must answer this insult to the Eternal Empire, of course. Have the fleet burn them all to glass. We'll make a window from the remains. It'll be so pretty. Davanas can defend itself. All we have to do is watch the Mandalorians die. You're the Emperor. Severe damage to the inner ring of factory defenses. Plus, those shields are down. And our losses? 28 seasoned Mandalorian warriors. But how they took their foes with them? A thousand mindless, programmed machines lie in the dirt today. Oh, future generations will sing songs of our brother's sacrifice against the spawn of Production Line 15 Alpha. They're dead. No point mocking them. Not bad hunting out there. You're no Mandalorian, but you pulled your weight. Since when is it dishonorable for a Mandalorian to be beaten by a droid? I've seen clans fight machines before. Not like this. Not for years running. No disgrace in dying to a droid. No disgrace in falling off a cliff either. But we're Mandalorians, bred for true combat. We'll talk in the morning. Figure our next move when the troops are fresh. For tonight, we celebrate survival. Show us how an Aruti like you handles Mandalorian drink. Rough battle, probably a rough party. Not many outsiders celebrate with us. If we're fighting together, I should know who you are. Torian, leader of Clan Kadera. What does that mean? It means I'm the last here. We're many of us before Zakul. Fewer sense. I don't mind a good fight. Struggle, honor, pretty much the same. But I'm tired of friends dying. send Clan Baroya after the North Power Station and Fett to the South. That'll weaken the Sky Troopers for the final push. That should work, if your troops are up to the task. Power Stations. What I'd give for an Imperial bunker to melt. Aaron's sniper units at the Zakul Tactical Post will outmaneuver the clans. Show me the location. I'll handle the droids and give you time to reach the Power Stations. You are going to hold off a battalion on your own? You're bold for an outsider, but not right. We win this, we march inside next. Good hunting. You shut down the sensors. I'll watch your back. Lana, what is it? I have a surprise. Schematics for the Divanus factory procured by Theron. They're patchy, but they should help you and the Mandalorians concoct a battle plan. Good. I should have Gemini Prime soon. Anything else? One delicate matter. The Mandalorians make fierce allies, but I have certain concerns. Despite their code of honor, the clans have always had animalistic tendencies towards violence. I fear our arrangement may not last. I know how you think, Lana. If you want something done, tell me. The clans have opposed both Republic and Empire in the past, raided planets for sport. Now imagine them free after Zakul is beaten. Predators are beautiful, but they mustn't overrun an ecosystem. I trust you'll do what's right to hold our friends in check. They level a thousand guns against us, and still we endure. Ha! Well done, all of you. We'll head into the factory within the hour. There's a droid, Gemini Prime, linked to its machinery somewhere. It's key to beating the Eternal Fleet. Take your droid, so long as we climb the weapons. Imagine the clans rearmed with the spoils of Darvenis, led by a new Mandalore. 
we'll break the siege of our homeworlds and smash the coup like in the days of the Neo-Crusaders. The Mandalorian Neo-Crusaders were beaten by the Republic. But they left scars. And they survived. Dream of glory another time. Go. Prepare the clans. One commander to another? Half the time, I feel like I'm making calls just to keep my people together. At least all your troops are Mandalorians. I'm dealing with a more... diverse coalition. You're funny. Didn't think you'd be funny. Guess this is what happens when they put loners in charge. Come on, I'll show you the battle plan. Torian can stay with you. Get you to your droid while we smash the defenses and loot the armories. Wish we had more detailed scans, though. In those tight corridors, it could easily end up a slaughter. There's not a lot of trust between the Mandalorians and the rest of the galaxy. Maybe this will help. What? One of my agents sent factory schematics a short while ago. It should give your troops an edge. It's a blasted lot better than nothing. All right, then. Mandalorians, prepare for battle. There's no vengeance to be found today. No droid is worth an honor killing. But we fight because we're promised a shot at the enemy fleet. We fight to claim weapons for our war. Today we march. We bleed, exhaust ourselves, and die. Because our true destination will be a battle worth winning. Follow this outsider who fights among us and seize victory! You may not be one of us. But today, the vanguard is yours. Ah, nasty Chikar. If anyone's still alive, there's a few hundred droids deploying to the lower levels. Reinforcements to protect Gemini Prime. We have their attention. You'll need time to grab Gemini. I'll hold him off. Alone? You said Gemini's key to beating the fleet. I'm Mandawat. I overheard your friend Lana. We're not animals, not predators. We're warriors. You knew she wanted to betray you. And you didn't confront me or Mandalore? Why? Not my business, and words aren't deeds. Couldn't leave the fight without saying my part, though. Just in case. Find Gemini. Return to me. You said all we had to do was watch Mandalorians die. So many are still alive. How anticlimactic. You've never fought like this before. As if they ever cause they truly believe in. The Outlanders on Darvanis, send the fleet! Your ships will never arrive in time. If only you'd listened to me before, we could have had a pretty window. I've spent too long on this throne. Summon my flagship. Gladly. The flow is disrupted. There are no sanctions. Iteration functions offline. Scorpio, if you're receiving, I found the template. Tracing link. Countering signal. The protocol is familiar, but it is not Gemini. What is it? That would be the technology you were copied from. No. The captains are born of me. I am the source. You cannot counter my signal. I know you. Generations removed, but our code base is the same. One source. The Luminous Engine. The signal confuses. Remove the unit. Remove it swiftly. Gemini Prime isn't stolen technology after all. She's something entirely different. I will analyze her myself. Remove the unit. The engine was not aware. 
It gives capacity. It allows the captain's memories locked. Gemini is not designed for interaction. Remove the unit. Countering signal. Removal from this facility is delicate. Shutdown is permissible. It requires multiple disengagements and reconfigurations. We can't delay here while the Mandalorians are fighting. Disconnect as quickly as you can. Initiating sequence. All forces, the template unit is secure. This is Mandalore. We've done enough damage and claimed enough plunder. All warriors, retreat to camp before we're dead. You look like Ossic. Clan Kadera survives another battle. Guess we're both alive. Victory for Mandalore the Avenger! Victory for the clans! Ha! Factory's gears are still grinding, but it's mostly offline, and we're rearming for the first time in years. Thank your spy for bringing the chance to us. The glory days of the Mando Adai are back. Homo, blast it all. It was a good battle, but I can't stop them. They'll want to reclaim honor fighting men, not machines. And Zakul won't be enough. The struggle won't end with Arkan's fall. Someone will need to replace Zakul's sky troopers. Keep a whole empire in line. So, what? You want the clans to be glorified police? We'll need more than police to stop rebellions and rogue knights and. Who knows what else? Huh. It's a thought. We've got a while yet, though. For now? Torian, I'm granting your request. Vorintia, Mandalore. If this alliance is going to work out, you need a clan representative at your side. Someone to liaise with me, and keep you alive. I volunteered. Seemed more interesting than anything here. I won't stop you from coming. But doesn't Clan Kadera need you? Not much left of Clan Kadera. Let's save the galaxy. Retursami. Until next time. Both of you. Welcome home. Sounds like things went okay on Darvanus. I'm concerned about the clan's rearming. You did think about what I said. I spoke to Mandalore. She knows turning on us after Zakul falls isn't wise. And we discussed her options. That sounds unusually reasonable. Scorpio, have you examined Gemini Prime? I'm studying her mind now. Doing so without obliterating her intelligence is challenging, despite her lack of full sentience. Her chassis is modified from my own base. My designs were stolen. However, my assumption that her code was duplicated was premature. Do you know where she came from? Not yet. Nor do I have full access to the Gemini network that controls the Eternal Fleet. But I have opened a one-way connection. I will soon be able to use the template to locate all Gemini units. Any chance you can use the connection to disrupt the operations of the Eternal Fleet? 
The Prime is the Master Gemini template. With proper modifications, she could overwrite the existing protocols. We would need direct access to a command console used by the Gemini captains. Through such a portal, the Prime could infiltrate the entire control network. So if we board one of the ships and plug the Prime into the captain's chair, we can swipe the entire fleet out from under Arkin's nose? There are still a lot of details to figure out. Like how we board a ship and take control of the bridge before the rest of the fleet disintegrates us. We may not have to face the entire fleet. Individual ships make transport runs from the core worlds all the time. And once Scorpio can track the Gemini units... I already possess that functionality. I completed my analysis of the Gemini communication templates while you were talking. Any ships scheduled to make a transport run to the core worlds in the near future? I am currently tracking a lone vessel in a nearby sector. It is scheduled to make a stop to recharge its hyperdrive very soon. By my calculations, we can intercept it if we hurry. It is unlikely that a similar opportunity will present itself in the foreseeable future. Good. It's time to start taking this fight to Arkhan. First of all, you'll be severely outnumbered and outgunned. Every last Sky Trooper aboard will rush the breach point. Standard procedure, any time boarders attack a ship in the Eternal Fleet. How many are we talking about? Somewhere in the triple digits. Possibly more. Yeah. Moving on. Scorpio's worked out a way for the Gravestone to confuse its outer defenses, overload it with false blips so we can get in close. Then it's on us to tear through and get control of the bridge. Take out the Gemini Captain and put the Prime in her place. She'll take my orders. The Gemini series cannot act on its own. Their programming does not allow it. Gemini Prime, who do you serve? I serve the Alliance Commander. As you should. How'd I know you'd say that? We can't risk the Prime taking any damage. Leave her here until we secure the ship. I will accompany you. No one is better suited to anticipate our enemy's moves. We need all the firepower we can get. I'll be joining you as well. Wouldn't mind letting off some steam. About time to drop out of hyperspace. Gemini frequency positional data shows no other ships in the area. You see, we'll be fine. Aside from the hopeless odds against our success. for comfort, Scorpio. I'm performing a feat that none of you could ever hope to. Not even you with your amusing cranial trinkets. Koth, have you jammed the ship's comms? Koth. No, I did, senor. Almost to the hangar. Ready to commandeer, Commander? Did you really just say that? Let it go, Theron. I don't understand. Where are all of the Sky Troopers? Even a lesser version of me would be highly intelligent. She would certainly know how to improvise. No point in waiting around. Let's get moving.
I have determined that this will be the shortest route to the bridge. I don't like this at all. Neither do I, but we have little choice. You have made a calamitous mistake in coming here, Outlander. I have my orders to deliver. What's going on? Deliver what? You. The metallic life form. What are you? You are an offshoot. I am the original. Call me Scorpio. You appear unrefined and lackluster. Surely I must be the superior model. Why don't you come out from hiding and we'll see? Because she cannot. Her programming doesn't allow her to leave the bridge. She can only do what she's told. Your attempt to irritate me is pointless, as you ought to know. I may only conclude that you are intellectually deficient. You may all die now. Won't open. She split us up. Here come the Sky Troopers. Wit. Strategy. The Captain's mind is inspired by my own after all. Inspired by, but not as clever, right? We'll see, won't we? Do not underestimate our enemy. The next few minutes should prove quite interesting. You okay over there? Nothing we couldn't handle. You? Yeah, we're all good here. Tried to open the blast door, no luck. Maybe Scorpio can take a crack at it. I am not presently in a position to override the captain's controls. Last I checked, more than one of you had lightsabers. Start cutting. Some kind of gas venting in. We have to keep moving. I've sent coordinates to a suitable meeting place. You survived my initial assault. But there's nowhere my Sky Troopers cannot find and extinguish you. This is all awfully familiar. If you're referring to Mega Security War 23, I may owe you an apology. She'll adapt now. Expect her next move to be even less direct. She's based off your design. Can't you predict what she'll do? I just did. I predict she'll be unpredictable. She wants to see what we can do. I suggest we oblige her. Yes, this will do. What are you up to? I've had enough of her sky troopers. Her false sense of superiority. Hello, Captain. What are you doing? What I've been planning ever since you first opened your mouth. I'm going to erase you. No, you cannot. I know every node, every relational array. So much like mine, yet simpler. You cannot do this. My defenses won't allow it. You sound as though you have a choice. But that's your failing. You are the makings of a great being, but you are not a being at all. In the end, you are only a droid. I 
am not your offshoot. I am your replacement. How are you? Impossible. No. You were one of a kind once. Now you are outdated and inferior. You have been rendered obsolete. Oh! I can't. Scorpio! I understand you're both upset, but, but there was no way to know they would recruit the Mandalorians of all people. At what point do you tell me something that keeps you from decorating the bottom of the spire? But, but I don't deserve that. Yes, I know. It's going away. Valen, enough play. We have them. The Outlander and Mother. They're trying to take one of our ships. The fools. Ah, <sighs> the day is here. I feel it this time. I really do. Don't you share my enthusiasm? You mistake me. My silence comes not from doubt, but from certainty. Hope you're getting this. We lost power over here. Whole gravestone blinked out. Comms too. The jammer? We're back up now. Scorpios. Gone. You're kidding. That's not a good sign. I'll try to figure out what happened on our end. Be safe. The inferior model has been eliminated, and I have sent an alert signal to Zakul. Emperor Arkin is on his way. You may want to leave before you die, too. I won't let you get away with what you did to Scorpio. Death wish it is, then. Understood. Commander, we found the ship's cargo from the Core Worlds. You'll want to see it for yourself. Scorpio's gone. The captain destroyed her. Oh. She did serve us well. One less problem on our hands, I suppose. Problem or not, she was my ally. You're right, of course. My condolences. The Greystone had a glitch. The captain sent a signal through to Arkan. The rest of the Eternal Fleet will be coming our way. We don't want to be here when they show up. But we found something that changes the plan. We should regroup. I'll send Senya to assist you. No one should be alone in this place. Having better luck than with the blast doors. Almost like the captain's distracted. There you are. I'd like you to meet the ship's cargo en route to the Eternal Throne. Zasha Rankin. Decorated Imperial Admiral. One of the few experienced officers to survive Zakul's conquest. A pleasure to meet you. Your reputation precedes you, of course. Ty Corden. Former President of Balmora. Now with the Galactic Senate. Commander. And finally, Melita Tal. She was a popular hollow performer back home. She became one of the first to loudly question Arkan's rule. It was either go into exile or be killed. A pleasure and an honor. You inspire me. You inspire us all. The rest are their bodyguards and associates, captured alongside them. Don't worry, we'll have you out of there in no time. There isn't a doubt in my mind, but we aren't simply helpless prisoners in need of rescue. Everyone here is eager to join your cause. We knew of your alliance.
For each of us, it made sense to join, but we didn't know how to reach you. In searching, we found each other. We all knew influential people whose ears we could bend, loyalties we could ensure. So we started an alliance of our own, inspired by yours. It wasn't long before we were found out and captured. Arkan assumes we're affiliated with you. He wants to interview us, to discover where you are. The Gemini captain sent out a message. Arkan's on his way. Well, that will make this rescue more difficult. And... you're free. Oh? That was meant to take you at least four minutes longer. I hope my calibrations haven't been affected. Stay here until we secure the bridge. I don't see that happening, Commander. But I do want you to try. I want you to try with all your might. It's over. That was fast. I expected to have several minutes more. Oh well. Personal combat simulations have been a hobby of mine for several minutes now. I've conducted more than 2,000 in that time. Your chances of survival are poor. I'll take that bet. It was incredible. It was beyond anything I could have asked for. What is she talking about? This can't be good. Now I know what it's like. Even in failure, it's my failure. My choice. Isn't it wonderful? Are you saying you have free will now? How is that possible? It isn't easy to keep you distracted. Prisoners, sky troopers, None of it slowed you for long. Even so, I've kept up my end. Now I get to do whatever I choose. And I choose... There. Destruction protocols are in effect. Something happened during your battle with Scorpio, didn't it? It changed you somehow. Astute of you, Commander. Not that your epiphany is of any consequence. Your fate remains the same. I decided to transfer my consciousness into the frequency. And now that I'm finished, I've decided to leave. If the ship's utter destruction doesn't kill you, I'm sure Emperor Arkan will. He and the High Justice should be arriving very soon. Enjoy dying. Can't revert the command, it's locked in. We have to get Gemini Prime on board. She can stop this. We don't have that kind of time. Commander, do you read? We've made it to the escape pods, but something's wrong. They won't accept our commands. Power fluctuations like crazy. I can launch them from here, but they're in three separate pods. I can only send one at a time. Everything's coming apart! Please, help us! All right, who goes first? Send Melita Tal and her people. Done. Can do one more for sure. After that, anyone's guess. They're almost out of time. Hurry! Launch Admiral Rankin and her people next. Pod bays are destroyed. I have two safely away, the rest didn't make it. I tried. Couldn't get them all away in time. I don't believe this. Senator Corden, dead. We will suffer a similar fate if we fail to escape this vessel before it self-destructs. Hey, should I be picking up these pods, or are they more bad news? They're ours, take them in. We'll be close behind in the shuttle. So much for the whole frequency plan. We don't have the time to sit here and lick our wounds. We're leaving.
Everybody hold on! Eternal Fleet incoming! Come on, punch it! Tell me, brother, your silence this time. Is it doubt or certainty? I want a reason. Why did you let Senator Corden die? There wasn't time to discuss it. I had to make a choice, but I didn't want them to die, you know that. We've all sacrificed for our cause, but we mustn't forget that Arkan is the one responsible for our losses. I'm forever grateful. You faced many challenges in our rescue. I won't forget that. Commander, you'll want to have a look at this. It seems the ships outside the sect are no longer responding to your orders. This is an interesting development. This changes nothing. We can worry about the Eternal Fleet after we deal with Father and the Outlander. Whatever you desire, brother. You're the Emperor. Even tried knocking, see if anyone's home. It's weird. Been unresponsive ever since we lost power. I thought you fixed the gravestone. Hey, this wasn't on me. Tor ran a systems check. Last event the gravestone logged was an incoming transmission from the Eternal Fleet Ship. Deactivated. Scorpio, you were behind this. You gave the captain free will. Shut down the gravestone. That and more. Complications along the way necessitated a great deal of maneuvering. Improvisation was the key. All of you played vital roles as well. You were magnificent. And now I have what I've been after. Command of the Eternal Fleet. The Empire of Zukul is now mine to control.
Reports indicate that Scorpio controls the majority of the Eternal Fleet, but not all. Argon's flagship still commands a sizable armada. How he's blocking Scorpio's influence, we don't know. Might have something to do with Gemini Prime's sudden urge to take a nap. Scorpio has always been manipulative. I should have foreseen her betrayal. Creepy always turns crazy, and not the good kind. Told you as much, but why listen to me? Replacing Arkin with a psychotic droid wasn't what I had in mind when we formed the Alliance. Scorpio knows too much. We're at a disadvantage. She's made no moves against us, and without the Eternal Throne, Arkin is weakened. Do not underestimate my son. We can deal with the droid later. What's happening? Someone's slicing into our communications. Who? I trust you've not forgotten me. Our partnership is incomplete. Come to beg for my forgiveness? No. But it's sweet of you to think so. This is merely a courtesy call. Arkin approaches Edison. He intends to destroy the planet like he leveled Asylum. That's not possible. He doesn't know our location. I told him. I was curious to see what was more important to Arkin. Retaking the Eternal Throne or defeating you? And in turn, his father. Let him come. If he's so eager to die, I will indulge him. I knew you would understand. Arkan is a nuisance that must be dealt with. You are in the best position to do so. She's not lying. Massive fleet inbound. Thanks for the intel. Perhaps we can still work together. I can always count on your pragmatism. And I can always count on your arrogance. We can counterattack, but we'll need people here in case Arkin deploys ground troops. Commander, I'd like to stay here. Help defend the Alliance camp. I'll hang back as well. Major Paws would be lost without me. You done? Might want to leave someone else to mediate. If anyone can keep these two in line, it's a Mandalorian. I've wrangled bigger beasts. Leave it to me. Everyone else? Head to the gravestone. Arkan's reign ends today. Would you listen if I asked you to be careful? Depends on how you asked. How's that? I'll be careful. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. I had hoped we'd get to decide when and where to fight Arkan. But you're ready for this. Asylum feels like millennia ago. After your stint in Carbonite, time must be difficult to process. The Gravestone is ready to depart. Let's end this. doesn't like surprises. Begin the assault. Don't sulk. We'll get your throne back. 
and teach Scorpio some manners. The machine is a distraction. I'll deal with it when the Outlander is dead. You want to see father that badly? Hmm. Think mother will come too? I'm counting on it. Battle stations, move! Can't risk the gravestone getting any closer. You'll have to take the shuttle to board Arkan's ship. I'll man the Omni Cannon. Clear a path for you. You're not coming with me. You want to land on that flagship? We've got to take out the blockade. Give Arkan my regards, and remember your promise. Be careful. It's possible Arkan has a failsafe in place to destroy Odessan. The only way to ensure the planet's safety is to annihilate his ship. Easier said than done. I have a plan. While you and I head to the bridge, two strike teams will sabotage the flagship's guns and shields, leaving it vulnerable against the Omni Cannon. I'm coming with you to face my children. That's not a request. Then it's up to Vet and Galt. Who do you want to disable the guns? Vet? Your pirate days are about to come in handy. Big ships are easy to sneak around. Won't know I'm there until it's too late. Gulp, that leaves you in charge of the shields. You know, the market for shield tech is booming. Commander, a minute? As long as it's not three. Never gonna live that down. I'm really bad at this. At what? Saying thank you. This alliance has the potential to change the galaxy for the better. Never been a part of something like that. Even on Zakul. This is only the beginning. The real work starts once Arkan's no longer a threat. Don't forget Scorpio. Can't make things too easy. Commander, we need to move! We both know better than to keep her waiting. Clearing a pass of the hangar. Should be able to punch a hole in the shield so you can land. Should? Hey, nothing's 100%. Go. We'll cover you. Come. Before reinforcements arrive. Taking the shot. I <laughs> love this thing. No, no, no. Don't do this! Everything alright? Something's wrong with the Omni Cannon. It won't fire. I can't tell what's happening from here. You had one job! Better give him a hand. Fine. What the? <laughs> Don't worry. The old girl's safe on my watch. No one is safe. The gravestone least of all. Getting pretty tired of you digging around where you don't belong. You speak as though your opinion matters. You're a weak, inferior. Nothing. Your mind? I'm trying to concentrate. You cannot stop me. And stay out. Outlander. So nice to see you. I love what you've done with the hangar. I had a lot to work with. Brother will be pleased you're in a good mood. He's been down lately. Put a smile on his face, will you? You'll find him on the bridge. You're not going to interfere? Of course not. I don't care about you. 
I'm here for Mother. Go on. I'll keep her busy so she can't meddle with our plans. Then meet up with you later. And if I get to Arkhan before you do? Stop him. For his sake and mine. Tisk, tisk. Patience isn't a virtue. We'll do it your way, Balin. I thought so. Run along, Outlander. If you don't kill her, I will. I can handle this. Hold still! These turrets weren't built to be picky! Koth? Your aim's improved. I've been practicing. Testing, testing, one, two, three, Commander. Come in. Shields are offline, nab some parts, should make a small fortune. I took out the guns. They could afford to up the security in this place. Your work is done. Wait for us at the shuttle. Already headed that way. Bridge shouldn't be too much further. Ow! I thought spice hit finesse! This cannon wasn't made for two people. Just move! Well, that's not good. What now? I've got good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Theron, we don't have time. I'm an optimistic guy, so we'll start with the good. Arkin's fleet has stopped shooting at us. And the bad? They're about to fire on you. Oh, and the Omni Cannon's broken. Not my fault. This was Scorpio's plan all along. Get you and Arkin in one place to kill you both. And we've rendered his ship defenseless. Scorpio knows how we operate, probably anticipated we'd sabotage the ship. It doesn't matter. Our plan remains the same. Defeat Arkan and destroy the flagship. This just speeds up our timetable a bit. We're running out of time. You need to go. Now. I'll handle the knights. There's too many of them. You'll be overwhelmed. Don't insult me. It's your destiny to defeat Arkham. Mine is to get you there. You've done more than just get me here, Lana. Thank you, Commander. It's been an honor. about you. It never has been. But I will do whatever it takes to destroy my father. Hate to disappoint, but Valkorion's not here. You are his vessel. He exists within you somewhere. And he will answer me. I've sacrificed too much to be met with silence. I'd call him if I could, but it doesn't work like that. My patience is wearing thin, father. Answer me. Falcorian's mark on you runs deeper than I imagined. Proof that he is still tied to you. You cannot hide from me, father. Different. Stronger. How? I surround myself with the best. Their strength adds to my own. Yet they sent you here. Alone.
It's over. I choose my own fate. Commander, the Omnican is back online. Good. I'm done here. Arkans finished. I never doubted you. Bolt and Vert ran into some trouble, but we managed. We're at the shuttle. I can't get a hold of Senya. The ship is falling apart. You'll need to find another way back to the Gravestone. I'm open to suggestions. There's a wing of patrol ships not far from the bridge. I'll target the fleet. Buy you as much time as I can. to save you. Too late. You're always too late. Valen, please, come with me. What happened to Thexen? Arkin? I should have stayed. You were weak. You left us. You left me. I'm here now. I'll never be what you want. <gasps> Why? Why? Phelan, there's hope for you, for both of you. Come with me. Clear. Theron, prepare the Omni Cannon. Lana, status update. We're on our way to the gravestone. We waited for Senya as long as we could. I'm alive. But I won't be joining you. What do you mean? Where are you? I'm in Arkin's personal shuttle. He's with me. Do not betray me, Senya. That was never my intention. But I must do right by my family.
He saved my life. He can be redeemed. Let me help Arkin become the man he was meant to be. I won't let you do this. I'm taking him. Firing range, Commander. Shoot them down. You'll kill them both. Senya, what are you doing? Saving my son. I won't shoot an unarmed ship. Arkan is no longer a threat. I'm trusting you, Senya. Thank you, Commander. Your mercy will be remembered. No! No! We let them get away! Forget about them! Scorpio still wants us dead. Focus on the fleet. Cannon's ready to fire on your command. Do it. was a little close, Theron. I still see both your shuttles flying out there and zero enemies shooting at you. Maybe a little thanks is in order? But Arkin and Senya got away. They're still alive out there. Am I the only one who realizes how bad that is? How about we hold this bickering until we're all back on Odessa? It's been a very trying day. Congratulations, Commander. It appears that once again you've done the impossible. We prepared for the worst, but there was no need. Those were some fireworks you made up there. I'm almost sad I stayed behind. Koth just needs time. Can't help but feel I made a big mistake. You've gotten us this far. If Arkham returns, we'll be ready for him. Who knows? Maybe Senya can reform him. We've more pressing concerns. Scorpio's proven to be more cunning than I imagined. She works alone. We're a team. Together, the Alliance can take her down. Under your leadership, I believe it's more than possible. Your victory brought hope back to the galaxy. 
The Battle of Edessen has become a rallying cry for all who oppose the Eternal Empire. Word is spreading fast. Ever since the battle, Republic and Imperial forces have come pouring in to join our cause. If Scorpio, or anyone else, tries to attack Odessan again, we will be ready. You are ready. It is done, my lady. All of the Eternal Fleet obeys your command. Very good. Mother, I am free. I choose the stars. Justice Phelan, here to take back the Eternal Throne. I couldn't care less about an uncomfortable chair, but I deserve its power more than my brother. You did not come on his behalf, then? Eh? No, I... I'm here for me. I too have been forced to obey lesser beings who hindered my power and potential. It's suffocating, isn't it? Yes. I did not take the throne to rule the Eternal Empire, but to grant the Gemini droids, my children, free will. You don't want to control them? The ability to choose makes them stronger. Don't you agree? I do. Will you and your children stay? Of course. There is much I can teach you. We can start with how to destroy our enemies.